What is going on, y'all? And of course, welcome back to the stream, welcome back to the channel, and welcome back to SnowRunner. We've definitely been, obviously, off of the stream for a couple of, uh, couple of stream days, but I am so incredibly happy to be back. Now, I was on a, I was on a really interesting trip that I cannot wait to share the footage from with you guys, but stay tuned for something definitely a little bit out of the ordinary on the channel, but I think you guys are gonna really enjoy it. But enough about that, let's get into everything that we are going to be messing around with today. Now, of course, I'm gonna be saying hi to you guys out there in the chat, out there in the early squad, and we've also got quite a few really interesting vehicles to go over today, and some updates to some vehicles that you guys have never seen before, one of those being a brand new, fully console-friendly new Bronco by Dubs that you guys saw in the thumbnail, and of course that you're gonna see very, very soon. Now, we're gonna go ahead and load into, well, we won't load into that yet, but we're also... Uh, we're going to be loading into Redlawn, we're going to be doing some RP, and we're going to be messing around with, like I said, all of these new trucks, and also there's a bunch of things that will be coming to console very soon, and also there's a bus. So, I'm sure we're going to be able to do some very odd, strange challenges with said bus. I definitely want to send the bus off of a mega ramp at some point, that is definitely going to happen because it is, uh, it's yeet time today. But, I'm seeing Cole, I'm seeing LL1013 uh, Gaming, we're seeing, let's see, Montana and HW Roll Roll, we got, let's see, uh, Colby and Charles and Trucker and Truth Lies. And crazy chaos what's going on my dude we got Oscar Swimburn out there in the chat and let's see he uh <laughs> right Rod Dawson Diesel Freak uh came 1460 we got Hyatt we got Diesel dropping the important links out there in the chat if you guys are interested in joining our discord or checking out anything related to the latest console mods or even you know checking out brand new uh Snorner mods whether that be for console or PC make sure you check them out and let's see whoa, whoa, whoa wait a minute hold on David Charles says there are no new console mods stop hyping people up they're just taking mods away wrong. Uh, they are not taking mods away, and as a matter of fact, they've been working on a a lot of things in the background to make modding simpler across all platforms and bring the entire modding world together. So, are they getting rid of mods? No, that is not what they're doing. But let, like I said, let's see out there in the chat. We got Empire, what's going on, my dude? And let's see, today I'm getting a dude. Oh my god. We got John, we got Matt, we got Laner, we got and uh, let's see, Lane and uh, Team Tuck out there in the chat, and let's see. It's Kings Y and Roll, LOL. Let's see, Max the Editor, we got Shane, we got Colin, we got Charles, and Jay, and Ryan, and let's see, Yusuf, what's going on, buddy? We got Alonso21, we got Imran, and we got uh, Karen out there in the chat, as well as Maximilian, and Jonah, and J Jaheem, I guess is how you pronounce your name. Either way, out of number 586, what's going on, my dude? And we got Colin Greer and Montana checking in. And let's see, Missing Link. What's good, buddy? We got uh, we got Herbie Racer out there in the chat. What's good? Transporting a large silo in ATS right now. Oh heck yeah! Hashtag me out of power, right? Crazy chaos. What's up, buddy? We got uh, Jaden. It was it was good. It was really really good. Douglas White, Jordan Lane. Uh, let's see, Trigger as well. Uh, we got Kelly. We got Cole Hagen. We got Mr. Maker out there in the chat as well as uh, let's see, Torque with some Torque. What's going on? And he says he, once again he's like, oh, there's no new console mods. All right, listen, bro. So here's the thing. This is a fully console-friendly new Ford Bronco called the Stampede by Dubs. Is it done yet? No, but it will be done very soon. And also, the developers are going to return to approving new console mods, but I really want to caution you guys against thinking that because they've been working on all of these other things and haven't necessarily been able to as approve as many console mods lately, I want to caution you guys against thinking that they, uh, that they're not approving anymore or that they are, or that people aren't developing new console mods or really anything like that. People are developing new console mods. They're developing new console mods all the time. They're developing new console mods constantly. Um, the devs have been working hard on bringing more updates to the to really the whole modding ecosystem of the game. So once again, there are no like mods getting taken away. There's nothing crazy like that happening. But I think what we're going to do is we're going to kick things off on Stadium today. Let's see if we can get the diesel into the VC. And I'm just going to see if he is ready to go. Now, if he is ready to go, we'll see. But, uh, oh, yeah, I see. All right, I think he's ready. We'll see what we can do. Now, let's see. What's up, Samson Scooter Pro? I see out there in the bus. What about the bus? Uh, oh, dude, the bus is going to be, the bus is going to be, uh, blah, 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 blah. the bus is going to be very interesting. Um, let's see. The mods, wait, bro, dork with some dork. There's no mods getting taken away. Dude, let's see. Congratulate Diesel on Thor and how he's managed to get it working. And then I realized I can't on Discord. Oh, God. Let's see. 
I don't really care about the new mods right now as long as they get uh, Season 7 going. So that should be hopefully coming really, really, really soon. Like, really freaking soon. But let's go ahead and jump into the stadium to get some testing underway. And then, of course, once we, uh, once we go ahead and try some of these rigs on the stadium and kind of introduce them, then we'll be moving into some RP scenarios out on Red Lawn Preserve. So super hyped, super excited. And let's see, where's the Tundra from? Uh, the Tundra I've been using in my recent RPs is uh, from yeah, buddy, And that one is a premium access PC only mod. And let's see, what's going on, Strawberry Cars? With that 199 Super Chat saying, hey, TC, what's good, dude? Thank you so much for stopping by. It's past, wait, it's 8 past 2 in the morning here in the land down under, right? Let's see. Oscar, I would love to. That'd be freaking awesome. I just got back from a, uh, I just got back from a trip and I was on it for like quite a while. I left, uh, let's see, this past week I left on Wednesday and then I got home late last night. So, uh, we're definitely trying to get everything, uh, you know, wrapped back around, back together, you know, and, and get everything, um, all situated after being gone. But, uh, but I'm definitely, definitely excited to be back. Let's see, when's the mud mower dropping on consoles? It should be very soon. I mean, we got a ton of console mods that are right around the corner. Bronco has a fully removable top. Oh, don't worry. We will be absolutely showing that removable top as well. Like, I cannot wait to jump into everything to do with that Bronco. All right, let's get this thing fired up, and let's uh, let's get into the garage and see. I don't know. Is Diesel in the VC yet? He may be. He may not be. I don't know. No, I don't think so. Okay. That probably means he's not ready yet. All right. So let me go ahead and get this guy retained, ready to go. And we're going to get into a multiplayer session. We're going to get the Bronco ready to rip. And let's see. I was trying to say none of going away. Oh, I see what you're saying, Torque with some uh, Torque. Um, and I think so, Trucker, but I'm not entirely sure. I think it has console files, but the uh, the branding is kind of weird on it. Let's see. Mr. MC Car, I have a new account. Oh, what's up, Kale? Okay, what's going on, NBA young boy? Welcome back. Welcome back to the stream. Y'all are creeping up with the first 200 people on the stream. Also creeping up the first 100 likes, Mark. Thank you so much. When are you going back to No Limit Drag Racing? I'm definitely uh, curious to go back to it soon. Um, I've got a little bit of work to do on some of my tuning, but uh, once I get that a little bit better dialed in, I'm sure that we'll be able to kind of figure some, uh, figure some fun stuff out. Oh, I think he's in here now. What's good, dude? How's it going today? Pretty good. I'm loading up Stadium right now. We're going to do a little bit of a across-the-board introduction of a lot of the trucks we're going to be messing with today. We're going to do some testing with them, and then then we're going to move on out to Red Log Preserve. We're going to get some of our trucks situated at our house and, you know, going to have a fun time. Okay, sounds good. Just mm -hmm. about to get the game fired up on my end. Oh, sick. All right. Ryan Kelly, how's the Tundra coming along? It's coming along really well, and as a matter of fact, my custom parts should be getting in here pretty soon. Um, actually, that reminds me, I need to text, uh, I need to text my friend at the shop that actually, like, helped me order the parts, and I need to see when they're coming, because it's, like, one big freight shipment of, uh, of, like, a bunch of parts. So, let's see, uh... Um, guessing the Bronco isn't going to be on console. No, Ghosted, it is. It is a console-friendly Bronco. It is a brand new console-friendly Bronco, and it's going to be a freaking sick. The creator of it, Dubs, is actually out here in the stream, and what we're going to be showing you guys is that Bronco is fully unbranded, fully console-friendly, and designed to be able to uh, be as low RAM usage as possible. This is the Bronco in its base form with the smallest tires and no bumpers, but it does allow you to modify it a ton. Now, let's see. Um, like, it'll make the console mods come quicker. Oh, my God. Um, but as you can see, it has been solid axle swapped, but it also has a full, like, interior. It's got the proper big Bronco screen. It's got the little, like, you can see right there on the top of the dash where all, like, the locker controls are and stuff like that. It's got the, um, it's actually got a pretty similar dash as well. You can put in uh, the doors, the windows, all of that stuff. Let's see. I have no idea, Cody Shelton. I have literally no uh, no clue. Oh, All right. So here's the thing. I, I don't have Instagram. So whoever you're following on Instagram, that's not me. And if it's Diesel Addict 66, it's uh, <laughs> it's not the it's not the one you know. Let's just say that. Yeah. Like just for everybody to know now, the only the only social media I have is Facebook, which it's completely separate from like YouTube and Discord it's and everything private. else. Yeah. Yeah, so it's so it's just really my only public social medias are YouTube and Discord and that's it. Yeah. So if there's if there's somebody using my username on Twitter or Instagram, that's not me. <laughs> or any right. of these other ones, it's not me. It's fake diesel 66. 
exactly. Yeah, so, and I, I would avoid following anybody that claims to be him but isn't because you never know, they might, like, they might be sketchy. So I, I would definitely recommend avoiding that. If, if I were you, if I were you. What's going on, Mike445? I see you out there in the chat. And let's see, what is Diesel's YouTube channel? Diesel Addict 66. <laughs> <laughs> and let's see. I'm, oh God, I'm going to put one of the, I don't know which, um, I don't know which car model this is. It's like car model 05. Oh, that thing is sick. Okay. I, I was putting on one of the, uh, one of the models from the GGMS pop culture pack. This is also my very first time driving the Stampede, the console friendly Bronco. And dude, with the crawler suspension, it's got the lean. It's got like trophy truck lean. <laughs> that looked awesome. Dude, you can, but it's controllable. Like you can pull two tires up off the ground and it's not really like, oh my God. It's so well balanced that you can pull two tires up off the ground and then it'll settle back down and then you're all good. Let me give it a, give it a lift. All right, I put the mud transmission on it, so I don't know. Oh, my God. All right. Yeah, it rips. That's <laughs> the first mud hole done with. What about the second one? Second one, it kind of swamps it, but I'm also not on the best mud tires. And let's see. Uh, Search Buster into yep. Final 80s Bronco. Well, this one is a lot... Um, it, This one is a lot different than that one. I mean, obviously, it is based on a new Bronco, but the other difference between this and, say, something like the Buster is that this one is uh, a lot more optimized, and it's got, like, a... It's got a more interactive interior, in my opinion. But if you prefer the style of the Buster, I mean, you could get both. So it's really all up to you. The body roll. I mean, yes. Here's the thing about the body roll. It's, you know, if you had a solid axle swapped Bronco that was on, like, massive coilovers and tall tires and no sway bars... You better believe it's going to have a lot of body roll. What's going on? I'll be right back. I'll see you out there in the chat. And we got, let's see, Charles and Jaden H. Let's see. The interior of that Bronco looks like... Oh, really? Oh, that's awesome. That's legit. Let's see. Um, I, I bought a Renegade and it's spin on the assassinators. What? I don't... I don't understand. Let's see. Will Nintendo have restrictions like Xbox? I'm not sure. Uh... The switch restrictions for mods are currently unknown. Um, y'all are, uh, dude, y'all just blew through the first 200 people out here on the stream, and y'all are about to, wow, about, you're creeping up on that first 100 likes mark on the stream as well. That's legit. Let's see. What's going on, Wolf Squad? And Game Forever, one of the console mods? Well, this thing right here is a brand new Ford Bronco called the Stampede that is currently in development as a fully console-friendly mod, and it is going to be insane when this thing drops. Now, I'm also gonna uh, gonna put together a couple of other rigs before you get in here and do a donut. I could try. I, I could try. I'm sure this thing would do it just fine, though. Let me go ahead and let it chill right there while Diesel Wait. is jumping in. And let me build one more rig because I think everything should be... There we go. Oh, are you good? Yeah, it took a weird... Weird dip there in audio and a few other things, but I think I got it sorted now. A few, you say? Like, <laughs> not just yeah. turn on the headlights? Oh, I need to do that when I jump back into it. Let me grab the... Oh, God. The Lanka Ooh, Snow I didn't bus. have... I didn't have the Royal Enfield installed. Oopsie. Also, apparently it's... there's some other mod. Really? But, yeah, there's another mod. I'll DM you the like the number of it and everything but it's not showing me what it is so it may be a private one. Oh, probably let me oh wait i think i know what it is actually we're gonna be uh we're gonna be messing around with this bus in just a second uh let me go back to the main menu and i'm gonna i'm gonna turn the mod conflict off let's see Nuba on overwatch what's going on buddy and lion gig fan 94 i see out there in the chat we got jason and josh and Jaden h out there in the chat as well all right let me actually find said mod conflict and turn it off i well i think i know what it is i'm gonna yeah i'm gonna do a quick check too because i've got an idea oh found it it was uh yb's explorer Oh, okay, gotcha. Yeah, that's what I... At least, that's what I had on. So, I'm sure that that's yeah, what that it was. Yeah, that probably is. 
Let's see. I mean, if I'm going to be honest real quick, every time I hear Explorer now, all I think is Exploder. Oh, it's fine. They all do, so it's okay. Let's see. Have you bought the new... Jennifer, what? Ex excuse me. Is that a thing? No. It... How did I not hear about that? I think that's supposed to be like the logging forwarder. Oh, okay. Because I thought they meant like a skid steer. And I'm like, I've I've used the log skidder in Offered Outlaws a lot. Like right when it dropped, I made a video on how to use it um, and how I preferred using it. But I mean, let's see. Exploder is the proper. Yeah, exactly, puppy. Exactly. 100%. I mean, yep. but hey, solid axle swap exploders on 40s are still like still a delightful sight to see at the trails though especially when they've got like a different engine swapped in <laughs> let's see I just realized i've got to restart my game it's trying to download the exploder uh, bruh yeah i wouldn't recommend trying to do that now let yep. me grab <laughs> the the lanka snowland can i because I, I don't think i could put a better yeah no he uh so he rank locked the engines. Uh, he rank locked. Well, he didn't rank lock the suspension. Let me see. But he did rank lock the tires. Unfortunately, they rank locked like everything. Uh, let's see, bro. What That's they, pretty tiring. They rank locked the the spare tire to rank eighteen. Why? <laughs> that doesn't make any sense. That does that doesn't make any sense. What? All right, hold on. Small bus flatbed? What is this? Why is it... Does it go on the roof? I, I mean, guess if it's it... what I have planned for the atrocity, it goes inside. Uh, probably. I guess it... It might be. I mean, I'll just put the roof rack up there. Ladder, and then bus roof lights. I can put an off-road bumper on it. Blacked out bus wheels... Coach service, crew transport. What is? Oh boy. Okay, this is this is an odd like, this is an odd turn of events for sure. Um. Well, let's just say your bus has arrived. I see you haven't accepted the invite to a secret beta I have sent you. Um. Did 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 you? Yes, he did. Did you? Hold on. Cause I thought I that mean, I could have. Cause I unless he just did now, I. Oh no, he did. Okay, yeah, no, he did. All right, let me go ahead and. Wow. Okay, that 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 picture. I see. All right. Uh, <laughs> you know, puppy. <laughs> yeah, that. You know, it, like one of those things. You know, man. I wish I had the faster engine. I wonder if like. Just because I have the um, the fast transmission, I wonder if I can do the jump. I'm going to try it. I'm going to try it. The cargo inside. Wait. No cargo inside. The cargo inside the bus. Okay. So that's... So Empower is saying he thinks... I guess he thinks that's what this is. Um, so let's see. Oop. Easy. What up, Carmo? I see you out there in the chat. Ow. Hit the tire wall. I don't know why... Pretty tiring. We, oh, it is. I don't know why we needed... Um, a bus, like a giant, you know, coach service bus in SnowRunner, but, like, I'm happy we have it, but, uh, it's a bit odd. Oh, no, I need the, ow, I need the big engine. <laughs> I need... I mean, it should be, you should have, like, the option for, uh, the rank task. Well, I was waiting until you got in here, because I didn't want to lock you out of it. Oh, right. <laughs> right? Yeah, Where it's, the... been a, it's been a busy week here, so, yeah. Oh, I get that entirely. Let's see. You say this after the Megabus. Well, we needed the Megabus, undoubtedly. Um, Let's see, where exactly. are the where are the Jado rockets? Well, it isn't Beam, although I do adore the, uh, the rockets in Beam. The rockets in Beam are delightful. Now, let's see. Oh, God, Grievance Sage, right? New on Overwatch, what's going on, dude? All right, I'll see you when you get back. I just joined What's New. Well, we have a bus, and we also have a fully console-friendly new Ford Bronco that we're going to be playing around with today by Dubs, which is going to be freaking sick when it drops. What's going on, Zach? Is he out there in the chat? All right, let's attempt a bit, uh, like a bit of the balance track with the bus. 
We need to have a bus balance track battle. Bus versus oh Thor. Hmm. That sounds completely and totally unfair, especially because of the fact that this bus doesn't even have diff lock. So, like, I can't even Ouch. have lockers, and you have, well, like, literally everything. Although I've gotten farther than I even planned on getting, so... I mean, in my defense, rock oh, no. balls do come, like, lock dips full time. And that's fair. That is fa Well, lock dips full time. More like spooled, probably. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, God. Can I... Am I going to explode? Because I'm like... It's... Why did I just hear despicable me? <laughs> oh, my God. Ah! Where are the minions when you need them? Jeez. All right. I and now I can see minions carrying the bus. <laughs> oh, my God. Argo Gamer 77 what's going on, dude? I see you out there in the chat. Is the Gladiator still in testing? Yes. So here's the thing. The developers have been a little bit slow on the console mod drops lately, but that is because they are working really, really hard to prepare for Phase 7 and to prepare for Nintendo Switch mods. So they're really trying to get as many mods available across the entire spectrum of the game as they humanly possibly can. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, I... I'm just, I'm just really pumped to see what they end up coming up with. So, like, I'm... I, oh, there's Diesel. All right, we can get the rank task initiated now. That was quick. Let's see. Easy. All right, time for the rank task. Or should I wait for you to officially move to the map? Probably. Let's see. Sharky yeah, and Carmo. What's going on, dudes? Bobo 12V. Yeah, I, I need this bus, but, like, with lockers and on 65-inch tires right now, please. I feel like <laughs> that, that would be exactly what I want. Let's see. I want that to be on gigantic monster truck suspension. Exactly! Yo, he said it at the same time I did. That's freaking great. You know the Freedom Bus? We, the, you know what? You could use this as a basis for that. At Is least that I the part feel where like I tell people that I found a 6x6 bus model? <laughs> oh, that's going to be delightful when you get your hands on that. <laughs> oh, yeah, is it adjusting is... it on you, Grievance Sage? Oof. What were you going to say? Yeah. I was just going to say that, like, I just have to find somewhere in the slot to line it up. Because right oh. now, the roadmap is, like, Thor, followed by Excalibur. Mm -hmm. And there's another truck with a working title name. And, like, I'm not even going to say it right now because I'm not 100% sure I want to stick with the name. Like, it's yeah. good, but I'm not sure it's going to fit the vibe of the truck I want to do. I see. I mean, you're. are you still going to stick with the, like, ancient Greek mythology vibe? I mean... So here, here's a funny thing. Someone was helping me with the names a little while ago, and it was like, well, there goes what I thought you were going to do for the name. And I'm sitting here thinking, I just stick whatever sounds good onto the, uh, onto the mod's name. That's fair. I mean, I guess if there's, you know, if you if you don't have, like, a dedicated theme to it, then run with whatever you want to run with. Let's see. Juju Beast, what's going on? We got Ashton out there in the chat checking in as well. Muddy with the bus would be epic. Dude, we definitely need to take the bus to some areas where it, where it's not supposed to be. I mean, that name has already been used, Empower. So, and that name, not only has it already been used, but it's been used for, like, a really popular mod. So, it's kind of one of those things. Uh, Vector, what's good? Official T-Dub, I see you out there checking in as well. Now, of course, this thing will have other colors available on it once it's done. But it's in, like, I would say it's about, like, 75% done right now. So, uh, the colors will come later. So, let's see. Take it down to TNB Trails. Oh, definitely. Oh, the TNB Trails, like, Long Hill. Dude. The gigantic, like, you're talking about the dune jump. I know exactly what you're talking about. And the dune jump is definitely one of those things that I... Let's just say it certainly makes or breaks a vehicle's ability to jump. Let's see. Dalton says, a bus dually flatbed car hauler. That's a lot of things in one. Like, a lot. Like, a lot, a lot. And, oh, no, Douglas, well, hopefully you feel better soon. What's going on, Aurora? I see you out there in the chat as well. All right, I'm pretty sure Diesel is working on... There, yep, there it is. I knew he was going to be out of the garage in something. I love that work bed, by the way. Oh, well, yeah, this is actually, for everybody wondering, so far, this entire truck, it's using only one default add-on, and that would be the front bumper, which, not this one, obviously. This is from Punisher. Yeah. But everything else is custom, and this truck, so far... 
using custom tires only, custom assets everywhere else, is only 32 megabytes of RAM. And That's I still amazing. have and I still have two more custom beds coming. Yeah, that's that's incredible. The fact that you've got all of that like custom stuff and it's still that good like on RAM is top notch. All right, let's see. Care for a mud One race? More thing. Oh, yeah, what? that sounds like a good idea. I feel like you're going to you're going to destroy me, but um awkward gamer and and to anybody else out there in the chat that is having any issue at all with your playback quality, manually click the gear and select 1080p 60fps to get the max possible quality, okay? All right, you ready? Well, yeah. I'll Three. give you a head start because we know how this is going to go. Oh, I know. Three, two, one. I'm going. Oh, God. Yeah, um, I'm doomed. There he goes. Yep, yeah, I've... Wow, um... You want to talk about doomage? I got doomed real quick. Oh, no. Yep, I swamped it. I swamped it. That's the yeah, crazy part the about this thing, too, is you have to be in low to use um, the lockers. And so the first and second mud pits were in high with no lockers, which is actually really impressive. So and I'm one more thinking... Thing. Oh, what's up? One one more little trick, and I did. I need to correct myself. There are some default add-ons available for this, mm -hmm. and that would be the different low saddle models. But check this oh, out. Okay. Or I should say the different low and high saddle models. So that work bed probably fits with like the heavy trailers too. Oh yeah, it'll fit heavy and standard low trailers. That's beastly. Uh, Karen Bear, uh, sometimes I do. And actually, I've seen some of his videos recently popping up on SnowRunner. It's really cool that he's getting into it. That's custom UV mapping, LOL. Yeah. So, uh... And huge, actually, before I forget, and since he's in the chat, huge, huge credit and thanks to Big Dub's mods for telling me about that. And I will be going back and going over my current mods at some point in time and trying to add more custom stuff to them, as well as re-UV mapping them to try and cut the RAM cost even further. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, that And that's going to make a major difference on all of that. Or all of them, I should say. So let's see. Truth lies. I just checked the PC. Uh, Stampede or Bronco isn't there. So here's the thing. This is about 75% done. It's a current work in progress. It's not out yet. But when it's out, I will make a full reveal of it, full video and everything like that, so you guys can see when it's out. Uh, but we're showing it early because uh, Dubs is currently working on it, currently developing it, but we're getting to show you guys an early console-friendly version. Now, of course, there's really only going to be one version of this thing, and it's gonna, they're going to all be console-friendly, of course, but do keep in mind that this is not available yet because he's still working on it, okay? There's more things to be done. What's going on, Alex? I see out there in the chat, and... Uh, Let's see, 2009 Gaming, what's going on? And Tim, I see out there in the, in the chat as well. And let's see, where are the new models on console? There haven't been any. Okay, once again, they are working on getting Phase 7 ready. And they're working on getting Phase 7 ready. They're also working on improving the uh, the mod network for consoles because now there are mods on the, like, the original consoles, the next-gen consoles, and they're working on bringing them to Switch. And so there's a ton of back-end work that needs to be finished before they can actually bring new mods with the release of Phase 7, okay? And let's see, uh, Charles King, oh god, in all caps, what happened to the console-friendly Monster Jam truck with six bodies, but it never came? Uh, there was a lot of weird, like, weird stuff around that thing, and there's, like, I, I can't really get into all of it because it would take, like, a book to explain, but it, essentially it was kind of one of those things where... There was, um, there was weird confusion about the origins of some things, and, like, it, uh, long story short, it got removed from the testing list. Uh, let's see, uh, Riker, oh, that would be pretty freaking fun, I will tell you that. And let's see, oh. sorry, my caps lock is broke, this is how, just how I chat. <laughs> also, real quick. Yes? Look at, look behind you. Okay. You're gonna just take off? Active oh, towing suspension. Dude, that's awesome. That's awesome. I love that. And it, of course, acts like the trailer isn't even there. And let's see. Oh, yeah. You can Whoops. show that secret beta today if you want. It's almost done. Just lights and some add-ons left. Need to do the movie cannon add-ons. Hope to release this week. Oh, heck yeah. If we have it, like, if we have a chance to get back out to the main menu and, like, 
refresh the stream, we will definitely uh, be messing with that a little bit later on. Now, I think it's time for your truck to go up against this thing on the... That was a beautiful drift. That was like complete formula drift out of the garage. That was delightful. <laughs> Vector, what's going on, dude? All right. So, let's see. I think I've got a chance at this. But I think that, you know, if I give you any room at all to yeet, that you will also have it. So, three, two, one, let's go. Okay, sounds good. And I'll make it fair. I'll just go in standard low. Okay. I mean, to be honest, like, if I want the lockers, I'm going to have to do the same. So, oh! Can we, uh, can we have a do-over? I kind of messed that messed up that first one. Big oof. That sounds good. Uh, I was kind of thinking this thing wasn't going to have a horn. I'm glad it does, though. All right, let me go ahead and put it in low once again. That could have gone better. Huh? That could have gone better. I pulled a 180. Oof. Yeah, I didn't see that. Um, definitely is, Ashton. Definitely. All right, I'm in low plus already going with the lockers on. And I could definitely say this thing is, is... Oh, no. Well, it was off to a great start. The wheelbase is perfect for these barrels. And, like... Why are you over... You flew over my lane. <laughs> I mean, I kind of just flung it in high. Uh, but I see what would happen. I mean, trees can catch you, I guess. Yeah. I mean, does that count, or do you want me to go back to the beginning and do it properly? No, you're good. You're good. <laughs> I mean, you keep going. Like, if you if that's how you're gonna race, you that's how you're gonna race. Go for it. Come on. I will, dude, I will say the crawling suspension on this Bronco is, like, insane. The amount of flex that it has is silly. All right, let's see. A little bit of, a little bit of concrete blocks. Trying to not monorail. No monorail action here. Come on. That'd be something to rail about, though. I don't worry about it. <laughs> Woo! No! Oh, crap, I monorailed. I... I um, broke the engine! Oh, crap. And I have no repair points. Like, none? None at all? Nope. Okay. Nope, I forgot. Well, I'll tell you what I'll do. I will meet you right back there after that particular, uh... After that particular obstacle. Let's see. What's going on? Uh... I think it's a different, uh... Brody? Brody? I'm not sure. Abram and, let's see, Dragon Archer, what's going on, my dude? I see you out there in the chat. Hey, Strawberry Cars is back. What's good? Have you checked out the train mod? Yeah, so Karen Bear, I mean, I know that um, Komodo recently made a video on that train mod, and we messed around with that thing a while back, the monster train, and I definitely think that it would be one to, uh, would be an interesting one to revisit. I think it's, it is cool to see, though, that, like, Komodo is diving into SnowRunner, and at the same time, like, some of the mods that he's using are, uh, I'm like, I'm like, these are from, like, right when the game came out. Although, I feel like he's kind of working his way through the mods as, like, as he goes. Nothing wrong with that, though. Like, I'm glad he's diving into it. I'm also super glad that he used the, uh, the Yeet Mobile. <laughs> Honestly, a little bit disappointed, if I'm honest, that I didn't see a Suburban on there. Huh, <laughs> right. I should probably, uh, I should drop a comment and be like, hey, uh... So there's this thing called the Doomsday. It's pretty, uh, it's pretty dang good. It's a yeet machine. <laughs> <laughs> Just no. wait until this thing releases. High gear is nuts. Well, like, you're letting me go and then catching right back up. Larson and Colleen, what's going on, dude? I see you out there in the chat. This map so is... My... Oh, what's up? I was just going to say, in my defense, for actual... I'm not technically letting you go ahead of me. I mm -hmm. need to readjust because this thing is so wide. Oh, that's true. Okay. I didn't realize that that was, like, the issue you were having. But now, granted, I haven't really driven that on the balance track before. Ow. Also, I cannot... Wait a minute. Hey, DC, audio muted. Mind giving me a wave? I see you. <laughs> Just give you a little bit of a wave to the camera. Let's see. Really fu fluid suspension? Dude, it really does. I can't wait to take it out to one of the other maps really soon. You're going to have to yeet this one because I know you won't fit. Yeah. I'm doing this, like, full balance mode Whoops. with the lockers. Oh, God. Come on. That's a tree. Is it? Yeah, I flung off. That's the one bad thing about 
the current high gear tuning is if you throw it in high, you're you're going for a ride. I was going like, to say, no, it's like gone, gone. Yeah, there's no ifs, ands, or buts about it. You're just gone. Mm-hmm. Which the funny thing about that is, is, is I might actually be about to win this in the Bronco. I, I don't know. I don't know if that's just going to be a thing or like if I'm not uh or if there's something i'm not noticing but i think i may just be about to win this in the bronco i was trying to do this in high and that was probably a bad idea oh no Hoop. yep bronco bronco Got took it. that one yep i saw him coming up behind me i was like nope it's doing really well tyler <laughs> oh god Ow. let's see when's the next offer outlaw stream definitely soon so we'll check out more mods in the future. Oh, sick. All right. Now, uh, these things have to go head-to-head -head again somewhere else, but I wonder. I'm thinking... I'm thinking big track, and then yes. we... Uh, I'm thinking big track, and then we head out to... Hmm... I think we'll head out to either... Uh, we'll, we'll head to Red Lawn, probably. And because, obviously, Red Lawn's got a wide, 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 wide variety of challenges... But I also want to take some of these to, like, a proper racetrack. Maybe the one on, like, Desert Proving Ground Stage 1. Also, by the way, I am so incredibly... Like, internally, I just want to see Desert Proving Ground Stage 2. But at the same time, I know that, like, it would take a whole three-hour stream to do everything on Desert Proving Ground Stage 1, if not more. Uh, let's see. Long time no see. Been in Hawaii for the last five days of spring break, and I'm headed home today. Oh, like, yeah, some metal head guy. That's awesome. Riley Scoots, what's Perfect. going on out there in the chat? Oh, what's up? So for everybody who's going to ask, mm -hmm. check this out. Uh-oh. <laughs> so Red's trailer pack, including the lumber trailers, are fully functional, apparently. Yep. Let's That's see. not counting my own gooseneck that I'm going to build for this thing. Mm -hmm. um, how camp brand friendly is that Bronco? It doesn't have like a million repair points or 5,000 suspension damage or anything. I love it, and I don't love it in IRL. Uh, this thing is actually, like, really balanced. I mean, it's got 800 suspension damage points, which kind of helps protect you from those, like, loose rocks and sticks and stuff like that. But other than that, I mean, you know, 100 engine, 120 transmission, and it doesn't really have any over-the-top repair points. And plus, here's the thing. Here's here's the thing, Grievance Sage. If a vehicle has those, you don't necessarily oh, have to use them. Oh, uh, did Diesel Addict have a, have a lag oh. oof? I think. Bro, I think he's actually, like, gone. Yeah, there was a bit of a... Yeah, internet hiccup here. I don't know. I was about to say, like, connection go boom? Pretty much, yeah. Oh, easy. Check out more mods in the future. Loves the mods you check out. Oh, heck yeah, that's awesome. I am going for a little bit of a rip on the, uh, the test course, but I think what I might do is since he, uh, since he lagged out... Let's let's head into our RP world. I think that's probably a good way to smooth everything out because here's the thing. We rarely have, we rarely, rarely ever have any issues on Red Lawn. You know what I mean? So Wait. I think it's like, now granted, I mean, if the servers are going to have issues, they're going to have issues, but I'm not going to yeah, worry was... about the servers. Yeah, I think that was more internet issues than anything else. Yeah. Yeah. So that snorkel is the only 3D model online right now. Uh, I modeled the Everglades snorkel myself. Oh, dude, that's sick. So nobody else has a model of the Everglades package snorkel. That's awesome. I love that. Galactic Alley, what are the new mods today? So the new mods as of today are essentially a lot of console-friendly mods that are work in progress. Like, for example, Dub's new Bronco that we're messing around with right now. And let's see, uh, do you like RC crawlers? I have a Bronco like that one. RC crawlers are legit. I would love to get more into RC crawlers. I think RC crawlers are definitely something that I could have a lot of fun with. But I also like real-life crawlers. And I was actually, because I, um, because I have a moderate addiction to scrolling through Facebook Marketplace, um, I found a 4BT swapped Jeep Comanche today, and that was very, very tempting. I, I've got to say, like, that one that one made me think about it for a minute. Um, but it's not like a newer 4BT. It's like a... It's one out of... Um, oh, what did he say it was out of? 
He he said like he pulled it out of some kind of like skid steer or something. Yeah, that's pretty typical actually for where the four BTs come from. Mm -hmm. Like they're either in those or in bread vans. Oh yeah, that makes sense. All right, I'm starting up. I'm starting up co-op. All same trucks as before. Red Lawn Preserve. Okay, I'll turn on Red Lawn and should be able to jump right in. Sounds good. Is the Bronco out? I'm almost. It's about 75% complete. Mm -hmm. And let's see. I love my Axial SCX 10 or 10 2. It's freaking amazing. So honestly, I've seen a lot about the Axials and they look really, really fun. I follow a couple of RC crawler pages on Instagram and a couple of like local RC crawler guys. There's one guy that I follow that actually makes parts. Like he makes, um, he makes different, um, what do they call those things that, like, they go inside the tires on, like, an RC crawler? Because, like, RC crawler tires don't necessarily have, like, they don't all have air. They have, like, something that actually goes inside the tire. I don't know how you describe a it. It's kind insert? of... What's up? Like a foam insert? Yes. Yes, 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 yes. That's it. I'd follow somebody that's, like, local to me on Instagram that makes those. Um, like, makes aftermarket ones, like, for SCX-10s and stuff like that. Um... Wait, are you going to Big Meats Run? What? <laughs> Ow. And what's up, Sharky? I said I thank you just, so much. Huh? I legit just drove the scout straight into a rock. Why would you do that? <laughs> oh! Uh, because I looked like that. That, because you're trying to get your, yeah, you're trying to prep your, your red lawn save. I, yeah, yep. never mind. All right, let me go ahead and put my stampede together. And let's see, I'm thinking mud mode and squatch active. And what kind of tires do we want to run? I really like these, uh, ooh, ooh. Let's see, world known mud tire, 38. Oh, God. Oh, dude, I love these. They look like TSLs. There's also the Baja Claws. I, you know what? Yeah, Baja Claw type. I, I never use these. But they're so good. All right, let's see. EG Snorkel. Let's do Fender Guards. And uh, no doors this time. Bumper front. And the whole top is in sections. I love that. Like, that's so cool. Now, let's see. Um, we're going to do the Brock Sliders as well. And now, while Diesel is on his way in, uh, I'm going to get this thing out to, out to my house. Beautiful morning out here, by the way. All right, suspension up, and let's freaking go. Let's send it. I wish these were, like, slightly wider offset, but I get that they're supposed to be realistic. So, let's see. Gonna be around 45,000 base price as what it is IRL. Yeah, exactly, exactly. Got an Element Enduro Ecto Trail Truck. It's amazing. Oh, that's awesome. And what... Uh, oh, what's up? So, he actually did join the game. Um, and yep. what do rock sliders do? Well, they, they slide on the rocks. But no, they essentially... Rock sliders are there to protect your rocker panels when you're rock crawling. And the reason why they're there is because sometimes when you're rock crawling... And actually, like, I can demonstrate right here. If you're at, like, a really sharp angle, your rocker panel can sometimes come in contact with the rock. Like, it almost is right there. But by the way... The fact that I'm not flipping over right now, oh my god, that speaks to Dubs' center of gravity tuning. Look at this angle, Diesel. This is the fact that I'm, it's not even teetering. It's not even moving at all. All right, Lil J, what's up, Mason? Thank you for stopping by. Dude, that is sick, Dubs. That's wild. How do you get your center of gravity that good? I mean, I guess, you know, I mean, when you're Dubs, <laughs> but. I mean, that's pretty much the only answer, because mine... Uh, my trucks like to flip, but they tend to come back down on their own because center of gravity for how big I tend to build them ends up underground. Yeah, and I mean, for something this short, to have a center of gravity that good is pretty insane. Like, genuinely, truly nuts in terms of the way that it works. All right, so you've, yeah. oh, yep, you've moved out here. Try the lights. The lights don't work just yet, but they will when it's done. Um, I've been, tr I tried the lights a little bit earlier and they didn't come on, but that's because they, again, it's a work in progress mod. That's the first, right? What's going on, Alex? That Bronco is stable. I know, right, dude? Uh, thumbnail time, right? All right, let's see if we can get this guy back to the house real quick. Got the Tundra out at the house. I've got my, I left the Tahoe out on the trail somewhere. And I'm going to actually take the back way to get to town because there is, I think there's a trail that goes through the river up here, right? There should be. 
because I've never taken it. I've legitimately never taken it. Um, let's see. The official T-Dub. What happened to Limes? Uh, nothing, as far as I know. I th I'm pretty yeah, sure. Limes has just been busy with, like, IRL stuff and other modding. Yeah. So, he's he's still there. He's still modding. Yeah, it's not... He didn't go anywhere. Put it that way. He didn't, like, disappear. Um, let's see. Intersect Blacks, what's good? Thank you for stopping by. And let's see. My house in that map is the one in front of the farmhouse. Oh, nice. Nice, nice, nice. Let me make my way around through the... Oh, God. He made this trail gnarlier. At least, I feel like he made this trail gnarlier. It feels like it's like it's a little bit muddier than it was before, but maybe that's just me because I, I don't take this route very often. In fact, I rarely ever take this route. I'll meet up with you in town, okay? All right, sounds good. I'm going to pick up a trailer and pick up some trucks. Sweet. Yeah, I've got my main trucks, uh, or well, I should say my one main truck at my house, and then the rest of my trucks are kind of all over the place. But I think what we ought to do is maybe help some of the residents of the town. Yeah, that sounds like a good idea. And let's see... Wait, hold on. Funny that it's the... Huh? Wait, it's the T-U-Z coding? So what are you, you saying, like, the coding was based on a T... Wait, what? Is so that... that's the... That's default T-U-Z coding for that center of gravity. Really? There's no way! What? Apparently, the TUZ is a lot more well balanced than I thought. <laughs> yep. Maybe I need to mess around with the stock TUZ more, because that's. That impresses me, like, a ton. That's genuinely impressive. Let's see. Alright, I'll be number 77. Two words. Huh? Throw car. Oh, I was gonna say, yeah. Throw cur. How's that Bronco going? Um, it's really. It, it's going really well. It's about 75% done right now. Thing's a beast, though. We're getting, uh, we're making our way on out to town, and now that we have the, because I assume you have the off-road lawnmower, right? Uh, I don't have mine just yet. Well, I mean, like, you have the mod. Oh, yeah, I have the mod. Okay, cool. We should start a, uh, we should start a landscaping company. <laughs> yes. <laughs> should mow every single lawn in the area and then charge everybody an arm and a leg. Yes, that sounds fine. <laughs> All right. Because we're gonna have to, we're gonna have to fund these truck builds somehow. I mean, right? Yeah, there is that. Let's see. Is that Bronco coming to consoles? Heck yeah, it is. And Ghosted, this map is Red Lawn Preserve, and it is on console now. Um, it has been actually for a little while, but like, dude, it is a amazing RP map. Death Note, what's going on out there in the chat? Lord as well, and uh, Mercedes, I see you checking in. Thank you so much, Alex. By the way. All right, let me get this guy parked up. As you can see, we got my Tundra right here. We got my lawn mower. My, well, my off-road lawnmower that I bought recently in the RP. And let's see. Not done yet and already satisfying to experience it, right? All right, let's go ahead and shut this thing down. And I'm going to bring maybe another one of my... Oh, there is my shop truck. I love this shop truck. This shop truck is so good. I'm going to leave that this... Tr me. What's up? I need to pick up a shop truck, too. Oh, okay. All right. This thing is such a monster. It's like, I can drive it realistically, but I, I sometimes have to, uh, like, I sometimes have to almost, um, almost remind myself to drive it realistically because it's got so much power that I can just, I can just lay into the boost and go full send whenever I want, and it's very addictive. Yes. And I wonder, can I fit, like, an ATV in this bed? It's a... It's a short bed, uh, 3,500, so I might, but I really, like, I've never tried, so I don't know. And let's see, honestly, truth lies, there's a lot of mods that are, um, that are not necessarily, like, Patreon that are available on PC. There's, like, there's a ton of them, actually. Like, there's still so many that you can have access to. Now, granted, if you do, like, you know, donator access or Patreon or stuff like that, you'll have access, access to even more, but you certainly don't need, like, Patreon to have access to everything. That's for sure. Where is... Oh, no, did I not have... Ooh, interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna have to do the other ATV, because I don't have, yeah, I don't have the Can-Am turned off, but that's fine. Uh, let me go back and get Dubs' four-wheeler, a lander. I can't believe that I don't have a lander, like, on this map already. 
because, I mean, that's essentially what this map was designed for. And so, or, or at least, like, what anything around the, um, like, anything around the context of this map was designed for. So let me get this thing put together. And I'll just do all the, all the gear, all the racks. I kind of left out the stereo system because, ah, I'm not worried about it. It'll have the IRL colors. Nice, 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 nice. Do you have your setup put together yet? Almost. Got like one more to do. Yeah, I'm just going a little bit bananas here with working on the tow rig. <laughs> Let's see. What's up, Schmitty? Let's see, how have you been doing? Got any new dad jokes for us? Hey, I'm always down for dad jokes. If any of y'all want to drop them in the chat, always down. Now, let me make my way up the... Oh, God. Come on. Here we go. My only question is, can I drop this in there? I... That's a little bit of a... That's a dive. I need to reposition the... No, 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 no. I will say, and this is not a criticism of the map at all, but, like, if Dubs was ever to update this map with anything else, the only thing that I would ever, like, want added on top of what's already here is, like, a loading ramp. That that would be it. That that would be that would be it. Just a ramp that was like for loading pickup trucks. That's all I that's all I would want. Other than that, the map is like perfect. However, we do have our loading rock, which the loading rock is is like it's kind of made its uh made its mark as like, you know. Oh, you grab the uh you grab the new um IX or I guess IV um uh Silverado. Oh yeah. That thing is actually really nice. Now, I have a full video on that truck coming soon, but I haven't messed around with it in multiplayer yet, so I'm really glad that we're getting a chance to try it out. Let me get this guy down into the back of the K3500. Oh, jeez. No, 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 no. Come on. Let's see. That's, um... You want to talk about a tight squeeze, that's, uh, like, it's in there, but, um, it's not necessarily what I would call packable. Like, it's, oof, um, I'm gonna have to, like, winch tie it, otherwise it will, uh, it will fly out. Like, there's no other way that I will be able to keep this thing in the truck. No other way at all. God, I love the way that thing looks. It looks so good. And the cool thing about that is that that truck, the IV, um, like, new Silverado for console, thing only uses 15 megabytes of RAM. So when it drops on console, it doesn't matter if you're on an original Xbox One or even, like, on a Switch when Switch mods drop, that thing is going to run on everything. Oh, God. You know, I figured I had the hauling suspension on this. Maybe I did it. Maybe I have the lifted one because it's it's sitting down quite a bit. No problem. We'll update later on in the week. Once again, that's not like a necessary thing. Like if you want to, you can. I'm never gonna tell anybody what to change on their map. It was it, it's just like one of those like convenience things. But hey, if you want to do it, feel free. What's going on, Brickmont Builds? Welcome back, Gaming with Jaden. I see you out there in the chat. Thank you for stopping by. I'm going to drop this setup off at the house, and then once Diesel has mm. his full setup together, he'll be able to bring his out to his house. And then I definitely want to get a little that bit of a like, bad a, idea. like a recovery service going. What was a bad idea? What what happened? I should not have jumped the mower towards the trailer. Did you, like, smash something and things went haywire? Yeah, front flip city. Front flip of what you were loading or something else? Uh, front foot. Front flip of what I was loading. Ah, that's always a that's always a pleasure. Let's see, what's the scariest tree? Bam, boo! Yeah, right. Okay, okay, Jaden. Okay, we see ya. We That'd see ya. And that is how you unload a quad. You give your truck full boost, and uh, it just flies out of the back, and then it's fine. Don't worry about it. Diesel gang, what's going on, dude? Let me back this guy up into place. All right, he's good there. 
Okay, so take, what is this, three or four? Ah, uh, 755. <laughs> yeah, I can work with that. Let's see. Where, wait. <laughs> Charles King, where are your play buttons and can Diesel do a face reveal? Well, here's the thing. Whether or not Diesel puts his face in his videos is completely and entirely up to him, not me. So I'm not going to tell anybody to do anything when it comes to that. Like, that, that's their business, you know? Yeah, and to answer that question, no. <laughs> no, he says. All right, let me find the... Where did I put... Not yet, buddy's Super Duty, although I am curious... Okay, that's down at my shop. And then let me get the Tahoe and bring it back to town... Dude, I'm getting everything back to the house. Like, legit everything. Okay, this should be close enough for that trailer. All right. Well, I'm curious to drive past the loading area and see what you've gotten yourself into. Because I feel like it's probably a lot. Actually, it's not too bad. Uh okay, so there's the... Oh, you're loading up the mud mower. Okay, I gotcha, yeah. I gotcha. If you want to, like, if you want to either... Well, I'll tell you what. There I'll follow go. you out to uh, your house from here. Okay, and I just had a better idea, too. So this is going to take literally just a second. Oh, God, okay. Like, if we're going for actual, like, RP type thing... RP-ish. I should put this. This? What is this? Uh, let's see. What did he... Hold on. Well, I'm going to wait for you to get out of the garage, because I don't know what you grabbed just yet. <laughs> right, Bubby. Hey, Richard53, what's going on out there? Thank you so much for stopping by. Hazen's Ranch Gaming with Jaden. What's good, you guys? I just got to drop the Tahoe off at the house, and then we are good to go. Ooh. Thing is quick, and it's getting very slippy. Oh, there we go. I wish I could take down some of these trees around the house. Like, go full farming sim, you know? Because there's <laughs> some... Well, there's some I want to keep, and there's others where I'm like, eh, I don't really need those. Oh, what? When did the Tahoe get body damage? Well, you know what? I'll take it by the shop sometime, and then it'll be fine. Get a six door? Ooh, that'd be, that'd be a blast. You know what? I tell you what. I'll just set this right here so that the side that's got the damage is facing the house so that nobody comes that comes by can see the damage. So that's that's fine. That's fine. Let's see. Um, all right, Dragon Archer, we will see you when we get back, buddy. Thanks so much for hanging out while you could. Can you drop me off at the house? That's fine. No worries. <laughs> no oh, worries. Nope, nope. It did it. What did it? What did what? <laughs> I fell off. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so uh, so let me get this. Uh, let, 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 let me get this straight, Thomas. Are you going to be, are you planning on driving your, uh, driving your Miata, like, past the house, like, ten times at, like, Redline until, until one of us, like, comes out and hooks a chain to it and then tows you down to one of the mud holes that you can't get out of? <laughs> oh, man. Freaking great. Oh. Let's see. Is that thing oh, no. console friendly, campaign friendly? It's gorgeous. This thing is, uh, Yeah Buddy's Chevy Tahoe, and it is PC only, but it is technically, I would call it campaign friendly because, I mean, you can really have, like, whatever level of performance on it that you want. But at the same time, campaign friendly is a weird, like, uh, it's a weird term because, like, I hear campaign friendly and I'm like, hmm, so monstrosity. Ah, there you go. <laughs> uh, like, either Monster Max, monstrosity, whatever you want to use, like, to demolish the campaign. Now... When there we go. Finally got set up. Oh, you got it? Okay, cool. Now, I get that when you say um, campaign friendly, you probably mean like, you know, performs like the other vanilla trucks. And I get that, you know. Um, but at the same time, like once you've played through the campaign a couple of times with vanilla trucks, I don't really mind, you know, running some powerful stuff. Unbreakable Dudes, what map? This is Red Lawn Preserve by Big Dubs. Let's see. Nah, big F-250, brother goblins. Oh my god. Jeez, Thomas. Jeez. All right. <laughs> uh, dang, this is tough as heck in hard mode, but I like this mod too. Hey, well, essentially, that's like, that's Diesel's hard mode. Because, like, he throws mods that he likes into hard mode, but doesn't necessarily, like, blaze through it with a mega bus. <laughs> exactly. But I think, like, your whole hard mode playthrough started because of a stream dare anyway. 
I mean, it pretty much did, and I don't know if he's out there in the chat today, but that was Hassanator. I forget the I forget his full username, but Hassanator actually basically dared me to do it without using OP trucks, and I added just for the sake of making it a little more interesting, I added another restriction. I can only use trucks that are console friendly. There so you I would go. Be, so I would be using Yeah Buddy's private trucks as well because they would fit, especially with how you can tune them. Right, but, yeah. But since I wanted to make it a little more interesting, shall we say, I decided to use only console capable trucks. Right. <laughs> Thomas, are you? <laughs> oh my god. That's hilarious. That thing looks so good. Is that a default horn or is that like a custom one? I mean, I'll defer to Puppy on that one. Because I don't remember hearing it on anything else. Like, I really, really don't. And if it's a custom horn, how in the heck did you get that thing to only use 15 megabytes of RAM with a custom 14. horn? Because that doesn't make any sense. What's going on, KZCO? I'll also see you out there in the chat. Thank you for stopping by. Is that trailer I mean, on console? It should be with the new update. Uh, what's up? Yeah, I was just going to say, this is a default trailer. This came with the new update, so this is entirely console compatible and console friendly. It just looks like a mod trailer because the devs didn't really... They didn't really publicize that trailer at all. They just kind of put it in and left it, you know? Oh, yeah. So, like, everybody... It's weird. Like, right when that trailer first came out, everybody thought it was a mod. Like, genuinely, everybody thought it was a mod because the developers did not push it at all. They weren't like, here's this new trailer or here's how you get this new trailer. They were just like, meh, new trailer in the game. And we're not going to tell anybody about it. And then when everybody saw it, like, on streams or whatever or like in videos they were like oh what mod is this and i'm like it's not a mod like but it's weird it's weird it's weird all right so metal guy we'll see what he get back buddy you know what murder brz i would say that's definitely that that decision is probably that, that's a personal decision um that's up to you but at the same oh, time i will defer to the meme of well why not both <laughs> <laughs> Well, I did not mean to unload the lander right here, but or the stoner rather, but it's there now, so. I mean, it's not the world's worst parking spot. Yeah, now I have to go back here and get the rest of the trucks. Wait, what? Where? Oh, oh, your other, yeah, your other shipment. Yeah, pretty much. I do think we ought to do um, this recovery task though, because it's one of the ones that's, uh, it's one of the ones that you need to do for like one of your. Uh, your neighbors like in the neighborhood and okay. I might use my I might use my new like not necessarily recovery truck but um but like tundra rescue truck for it and let's okay. see I'll be back all right Emmett we'll see when we get back is phase seven on PTS yet so people keep saying oh the phase seven PTS is gonna be out like super soon and it still hasn't been um it still hasn't been they happen. So we're kind of keeping our eyes open. We're keeping our eyes out for when the PTS happens, but I don't know. We, we're going to have to wait and see on that one. Uh, let's see. Ah, I like I, I like the way you think, Thomas. I like the way you think on that one. That That's 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 taking the why not both approach. Are you going to put everything on that? Well, I say everything. You're going to fill it up with like three trucks, four trucks? Yes. Takes full in-game day to load up the trailer. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, pretty much, yeah. While you're this doing might, that, wh while you're doing that, hold on. I'm getting a flex shot of this Bronco because I haven't gotten like a full flexed out shot of it yet. And uh, oh no, oh no. Again, how the heck is it staying upright right now? Apparently, it's that Tuz like tuning base map which makes literally no sense let me go up there we go as i mean the tuz quite frankly is just it's good for throw car and that is literally it i was gonna say the tuz is just no <laughs> exactly let's see he said this morning that they should be done with it or sorry the sorkin said this morning that they should be done with the server migration by the end of this week so next week is the soonest i would expect a new pts Gotcha. Okay, so kind of a back and forth. Um, and Carson Miller 53, there's it's not that it's not that Yabuddy's yeah mods or anybody else's mods 
are only on PC because they don't like console. Again, this is a big misconception. A big misconception. Because at the end of the day, like, why would a... Why would someone put their mods on, you know, just PC and it, put their mods on just PC with the standpoint of, well, I'm putting this just on PC because I dislike consoles. It's not that they dislike consoles. It's that they have a vision for the trucks and the the PC having no restrictions is what allows them to fully realize the vision for Central. What the? What? So, Trailer, do you think? I've been attacked, like, brutally. <laughs> that was weird. Yeah, you need to, like, fix your... <laughs> your loading. Like, all right. <laughs> yeah. I forgot Red's trailers do this sometimes. Yeah, it's a weird... It's a weird glitch they have, and it's like, if you get the ramps down in a synchronized way, they don't do it. But yeah. if they, like... Like, if you get the ramps down while synchronized with other players, you're fine. But if you don't, and then another player shows up, your truck jumps and attacks them. Let's see. So highly detailed. Exactly. Like, the consoles just wouldn't have enough RAM to run them. Like, for example, let me let me show you guys what I mean. Wait, let me, let me shut this thing down. Is it on or off? Your truck is so uh, loud that I can't tell if mine is on or off. Hold on. All right, let me go to... There it is. The Super Duty, which is down at the shop. This thing would not be able to be... It would not be able to be run on a console simply because of the fact that it's like there's so many 3D objects and add-ons in this truck that it's probably, I don't know, like uh, a million, a million and a half polys with all the add-ons. I don't even, probably more, right? Probably more. Yeah, easily more. Maybe two million. I really like, I really don't know, but at the, but like, when I look at this truck, I wouldn't be surprised if it had more detail baked into it than even, like, the first Monster Max. Because it's got so many add-ons and custom objects and details. And, like, these wheels, I think, are only on this truck. Like, these Forgiato dualies are... They're, the only truck they're on is this truck right here. But I'm going to leave this thing at the shop, which is right by the trailer store. Because if I want another trailer by the house, I can go and just grab a trailer right here and we'll be just fine. And apparently, Dubs was saying that there's some really good, um, like, nighttime lighting that was done on the Bronco. So I'm definitely going to wait until nighttime to see how that goes and see what happens with it. But I think we should start a, uh, start a recovery pretty soon. Yeah, I'm literally just throwing some extra parts onto my Bronco, and then I'm gonna grab YB72. Oh, sweet. Yeah, I, I haven't really, I haven't. I gotta be honest, I haven't really used YB72 on this map much. So the 72 is definitely one that I would recommend adding to your fleet because there really is only, there's only one shop in town. So your shop is gonna have to be at your house, <laughs> but you have a barn, I mean, that so works it's fine. For me. Yeah, you, you have yeah. a barn, so, so it's fine. How do trees get on the internet? They log on. <laughs> okay, so real quick. Yes. While you're there, let me switch back to Thor. Because okay. I think I figured it out. To make sure that nothing explodes? Yeah, so I'm going to... Let's see if I'm he can drive onto the trailer. Lamps. Yeah. It should be... Jaden H. Bad news. Your car is totaled. Good news. After the wreck, your Audi is finally an any. Oh, my God. That's freaking terrible. That is awful. Like what? I, I thanks. I I appreciate it, bruh. Thanks. All right, are you ready to go? I yeah, think. Yeah, just a quick throw together on the seventy-two. Okay. Let me get close to your trailer and see if it explodes. It might. It might explode. It might yeah, explode on me. I'm hoping it doesn't, but we're certainly gonna put it to the test. Your Bronco's suspension is compressed in an odd way. Oh, now it's not. Yep. Your ramps are fine for me right now. Yeah, I think it. there's some sort of weird, like, hiccup issue, if you will. Mm -hmm. That if you're too far away, it'll go a little crazy and treat the ramps as if they're still down. Well, probably because there's a distance limit to physics in this game, remember? Yeah, there is that. All right, let's see. Yeah, I'm on your trailer. 
So, uh, don't mind the fact that your Bronco duplicated, but with no doors. <laughs> I'll get off your trailer when you get here, don't worry. <laughs> Let's see. What did the tree uh... do when the bank closed? It started its own branch! Ow. <laughs> oh, Ow. God. Ow, indeed. It, okay, oh, got the wow. too. That that really was a quick be uh, quick build. Oh yeah, like a really quick build. I don't know what do you call a Ford Fiesta that needs a nap. Oh wait, no, I know what this is, a Ford Siesta. That's terrible. That's once again these are getting worse and worse and worse and worse, as per usual. But like, they I feel like they get worse every time. Let's see. Yeah, they, the new... they tend to. Oh, they absolutely do. Wait a second. Don't go yet. You're, uh... Yeah, I'm good. Okay, I was gonna say, the 72 is not on your truck yet. Yeah, I've jumped back in to do the ramp trick just to be safe. Oh, okay. Wow, so far nothing's exploding, so I think we're off to a really good start. And switch over to Thor. Oh! Weird lag jump. Okay, so now we're in Thor and packed. Wow, still packed. So, like, you should be able to be... You should be good in terms of hauling. Your ramps are still on the ground for me, though. All right, let me try that again. Just lower them and then raise them. Okay. How about now? Still on the ground. Okay, you know what? How about you go ahead of me? Because I feel like if I stay back there, there's a higher likelihood of things exploding. Yeah, exactly. All Should right, have put I'm gonna... the front end on. Oh, God. Oh, ow. It's a little That's bit... A guardrail. I, I know. It's a little weird in first person. So, Adrian, what's going on out there in the chat? Thanks for stopping by. Let's see. <laughs> Jaden, what do you call a flying Bill Gates? A bill in air. Nice. 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 <laughs> Let's see. What do I need to do about my mods? Uh, says Riley. Uh, what's your mod situation? Like, what, what's going on with your mods? I need to know what's going on with them before I can give you any advice on what to do with them. By the way, y'all are uh, closing in on that uh, 200 likes mark on the stream. Thank you guys so much. Jonah Johnson with that 499 super chat. Thank you so much. Saying hey, TC out there in the chat. Thank you once again, buddy. Now, how to fit this setup in there? Ah, uh, it's gonna have to be backed in. There's no yep. other way. That's why I've done, like, at my house. I mean, I've got a pull behind, but I don't really have a gooseneck because the only place I could really put a gooseneck is, like, in between the trees. And that's really, like, that's really about it. So... You know what? I'm just gonna cheat. How? Right there. How did you... What would... <laughs> What do you mean? <laughs> like, I literally just parked the whole apparatus in oh. the driveway. Well, I, hey, if you don't really, if you're not really bothered about it, then I, you know, I don't really think there's any, like, there, I don't really think there's any problem with it if you're not bothered by it. I mean, pretty much. Exactly. Let's see, has the new square body come out for console yet? Um, I want to say that, like, if you're, so if you're talking about, yeah, buddies, that one is PC only, and if you're talking about another one, that you're talking about, like, I think probably what you're probably referencing is Glitchworks Quad Cab Dually Square Body. That one's not on console yet, but it should be very, very, very soon, uh, Jacob. Mm hmm. So, you guys haven't seen my square bodies yet. Notice, plural. Yeah, I was gonna say, Diesel has quite a <laughs> few square body related projects, like, in the works. Can you go inside a house? I wish, like, we, I think we both wish, genuinely. Yeah. I mean, if I fling a truck hard enough, I probably could. <laughs> yeah, that's how you actually get inside the houses, is you fling a truck to them. Yes. I think there's a way that I can sneak into the backside of your, uh, of your house. Because, like, uh, you, uh, you left a break in your fence right here. Mm. Sneaky music intensifies. I'm like, Making my way into the back side of your yard. Hello there. Hello. What is this anyway? Let's see. Oh, okay. This is the... This is that snipe hunt task. 
We could do that, but like, I probably want to do one of the vehicle recoveries. Yeah, I'm gonna grab the F-350. That's gonna be the recovery truck at the moment. Okay. That's actually a really good recovery truck. Let's Let me find... Where did I put... Oh, that's yours. Oh, there's mine. Once it's fully nighttime, though, we both gotta switch back to the Bronco and see what it does uh, with the... with the new, like, lighting maps that he's got for it at night. Oh, well, yeah. Let's see. Easy. Oh, God. Yeah, I blew right past that one. All right. What is the deal with this one? Let's see. Looking to fish in the local secret... Or, sorry, secret local pond. My favorite spot here at Red Lawn is Trout Lake. Beautiful little spot on the backside of your map, but worth the drive out. If you're in the area, I suggest seeing the local canyons as well. But do you have to... Oh, it's just like... Oh, it's like just a searching task. Also, there's a there's a Hummer H2 out there and a giant bridge that looks custom. Are we uh are we going night fishing apparently? I mean, most likely. And actually, you know, I think it's time I show off one of Thor's tricks. Oh, is it one of the trail ready stuff? Actually, no. I'm not running the trail ready because that doesn't have like the hauling suspension on it. Mm. I gotcha. I gotcha. Does the, does that utility bed also count as like an ATV bed, like a loading surface for one? Uh, it does have a flat surface to use for loading, mm -hmm. but I haven't actually tried to pack anything on it yet. So. Oh, okay. I got you. Dude, the lighting. Oh yep. my God. I think what I'll do, though, is we're going to do this one. We'll do the Visit Trout Lake, but I'm going to go get the Bronco. So if you would wait for me right there at that house, I'm going to, like, yeet myself back to my house, get my Bronco, and head right back down here. All right. And as a matter of fact, let me... Hmm. Just for repair purposes, let me grab my Bronco right now, and that's not mine. That's yours. Where's mine? Where's mine in the list? There it is. Okay, because mine's got damage on it, and I'd rather get that repaired. So I'm going to get that repaired. If and we're then both jumping put... back, if you're jumping back there, I think I'll jump back and put the trail suspension on this. That's that. Yeah, that's understandable. I'm going to put the 43s on it, and let me, do, let me do the doors as well. Like, it looks great with no doors, don't get me wrong, but I love the way it looks with the doors on and with the doors off. I need the I need the high mode on the suspension though because wait a second. Was I already in the high mode? Oof. Oh god. I'm just glad I have so, the ability to What's up? Oh wait a minute, I didn't. That's what's missing from this thing. What? Snorkel. Oh still? Yeah, somehow I so I put it on and I must have clicked so fast it went off. Oof. Alright, so let's figure out a good route to get to that lake. So, God, I'm not even sure, because that's a ways. I'll tell you what we'll do. We'll take the, kind of like the ring road trail, and then we'll take this side trail to get to it. Um, but that's going to require going across the river, up this way, and then making a right down by where uh, the bridge would be, and then just staying on that road. Okay, sounds good. Are you afraid for the calendar? Because I'm, I'm pretty sure you are. <laughs> Oh my god. Is that the... Wait a minute. Did he recently update the radar to where it says Gold Edition on it now? Because I don't remember it saying Gold Edition before. I literally jumped into Thor to take a look at that, and then I realized, wait a minute, I haven't set up bobbleheads yet. Oh yeah, that's probably... Well, for you, that's probably like... And I feel like for, for most everybody that mods, that's kind of like a, like a Final Touches type thing, so I don't blame you for not having them on there yet. I mean, honestly, for me, it's just something that I completely forget about when building my own trucks because it's it's such a new addition, all things considered. Yeah, that makes sense. Easy. So we, it's like, go ahead. Well, I was going to say, like, we didn't even have them when you released uh, Punisher. Yeah, so it was easy enough to find them on Punisher, but for everything else, like the main add-ons for the truck, bumpers, flatbeds, stuff like that, it's like, oh, yeah, I remember Whoop. I need to add that. That was quite the bicycle. Oh, I got it. I, oh, my God. I cannot believe I saved that. 
Oh my god! <laughs> Uh, let's see. Did you see what I said about mods? If you could repost that, Riley Walden, that would be great because I did not see it uh, when you originally posted it. So if you could post it one more time, uh, that would be great. Thank you so much. Hey, Diesel. Uh huh? Where do old Volkswagens go? Uh, you know, I don't know this one. The old Volks home? <laughs> Out. Out. <laughs> Out. That now. Is, don't come that back. Is... <laughs> That is awful. I have never heard that one before. I've never heard it before either. I don't know where Jaden is finding these, but he's obviously, like, got a good source because he's finding ones that I've never heard, that Diesel's never heard, and that's kind of rare, actually. All right, easy. I like how you're skirting the edges and I'm just driving straight through. Well, you know, if I go through them... Oh, God! I want to put it back into automatic and it went in, uh, went in reverse. I do that all too often. I don't know why. Oh my yeah, god, Apex Media drop in the 199 Super Chat. I know- Nice. Nice. <laughs> I didn't realize you were in the chat, but I'm, I'm happy you are, but I didn't realize you were here. I guess I didn't notice the profile picture when it was really small. Now I know who that is. Jesse, what's up, dude? I see you saying hello. Right, Mark? Oh my god. Let's see. Well, the reason why, Jaden, is because the developers have been working really, really heavily on preparing for the Season 7 drop. And in preparing for the Season 7 drop, they've also been getting uh, Switch mods ready. And so when they get Switch mods ready and the next-gen patch ready, um, they're making some changes to the way that console mods work. And that's why they haven't dropped any brand new ones lately. But once everything is all sorted, the, uh, the console mods should start dropping again, like, very, very shortly. Woo, easy. Dude, thing is just ripping. Now, granted, it's not ripping in terms of, like, you know, when compared to uh, Thor, but it's still, it still shreds. I mean, it's got, like, some, it's got some nice suspension travel. Yeah. Honestly, I would say Dubs put a lot more, Dubs obviously put a lot more effort into his suspension tuning, and I just threw the book at it in terms of power. <laughs> All... All of the power. Yeah. So it's like... I mean, in many ways, too, it's not really a fair comparison to compare something like Thor to oh, Dubs no. Bronco. Mm -mm. Because, because there's a couple of different things here. Number one is I'm I'm driving basically a two-ton semi-truck, like two-ton capacity for the flatbed yeah. uh, semi-truck here. And I have wheelbase for days, so I can go over things that his flex is through more more easily and just frankly better yeah i mean i'm in you know i'm in a very short wheelbase vehicle not quite like not quite like jeep tj short but i really don't know what the wheelbase comparison would be between a, like a tj and a two-door bronco i don't know that stuff off the top of my head but let's see you guys forget i'm an old man these are my actual jokes <laughs> says puppy master exactly exactly you see my last comment to Diesel? Uh, I did not, Dominic, but uh, let's see. Oh, Bodie Reeves with the $5 super chat. Thank you so much. I gave you remember, but I had a problem with SnowRunner resetting. Oh, the language is changing on my SnowRunner. Had to reset my entire PC and disable cloud saving to get it to, uh, to or sorry, to fix it, like to get it to work. That's weird. Once again, though, thank you for that $5 super chat. I really appreciate it. And let's see. William, what's going on out there? Thank you for stopping by. So Easy. Dominic Houston, I... I did scroll back and I found your comment. This truck is my current console-friendly work in progress. It's called Thor. It's a 1972 crew cab Chevrolet C70. And its main purpose is basically to look at the 750 and just, you know, destroy it. it by looking at it. Yeah, send it, essentially. Yep. Coming up on the river, I feel like... I feel like we never take this route anyway. And whenever we do take it, it's in the opposite direction. So, like, even when we were originally exploring this map, we never just thought to continue on this road. And I don't know why we never did. Like, th you can access so much cool stuff by going this way. But in our initial explorations, we never, ever went this way. It just wasn't a thing. Oh, yeah. Now, let me see if I can get... Oh, God, get your... This thing likes to really, like, fishtail all over the place. But, like... Partially, yeah, that that's was... the 
the weird way the SnowRunner physics system were. Oh my god. <laughs> With the $5 super chat. Blep. Bleppy. Oh my god, TC, you're the coolest YouTuber ever. Well, I'll tell you what. I appreciate it. I'm glad you think so. And thank you for the $5 super chat. <laughs> Let's see. How much of the TMB Trails map have you explored? Honestly, Jacob, we've explored almost all of it. Um, especially the, like, you're talking about a really difficult canyon crawl that you've found. We have most likely found it. Uh, let's see. Campsite up there. Did you hit me? No? no. Okay. Ah, I mean, on my yes, screen but... you did. I'm all rippled <laughs> back. Yeah. Let's see. What's going on, Missouri? I see you out there in the chat. Is it, Puppy Master? Oh, my God. Oh, come on. Ooh. Oh. Holy crap. This thing is too easy to have bicycle moments in. Granted, that's probably because I'm trying to drive it like a sports car when it has, like, an ultra-flexy crawler suspension on it. Actually, Dominic Houston, I have been thinking of rebuilding Punisher now that I know a bit more than I did when I originally built it. Yeah. I mean, but Punisher I'm... was full yeet rig. Oh, yeah. It still is, and I can definitely make it more powerful. But the, th the thing is, there's a few little quirks that I did at the time, which was like, okay, I don't know what I'm doing here, so I'm going to do things a certain way and, like, do it overkill. And now that I know, for example, too, the... The trick from dubs about putting everything on the one uv map i yeah. can add more to it and i can stretch the frame a little bit that's that's one thing that has bugged me since i originally built it is i misjudged the overall length like i wanted the truck to be a certain length where you could get the frame sticking out just barely mm -hmm. underneath the longest two slot flatbed mm -hmm. because i hate the overhang Th this is pet peeve moment i have <laughs> hated the overhang on all the default trucks for the two-slot flatbed since the game launched. I feel that, though. I get that. So, I want to make Punisher just a tad longer, but at the same time, if I'm going to do that, I may as well go back and address a couple other problems, which I set myself up for at the time. And then <laughs> if I'm going to do that, I might as well add another part, and if I do that, I might as well add another part, so... If, if I go back into Punisher, there's going to be a ton of stuff added to it. It's going to be a huge overhaul by the time it's all said and done, which there's nothing yeah. wrong with that. I mean, it, it's honestly going to be good. I forgot how deep this water crossing was. I mean, oh, I'm my ready. God. I am. Yeah, you just disappeared. Yeah, d dude, it's bad. It's really bad. You probably won't fully disappear. You'll probably be like up to the top of your windshield, if I had to guess. Maybe. Um, that actually maybe got to my wipers. That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> Hang I mean, on, actually, stay right there. Stay okay. right there. That that looks that looks sick. Hold on, that's a that that that's a photo moment right there. That that looks so good. All right. So, so actually, Dominic Houston, I don't know if I don't know if TC can show it or play the audio, but I sent. TC an audio clip of my next semi project's engine sound. I could probably play it if you want. Yeah, if if you could, I think that would be great. Is it the actual like sound file you're gonna use? Yeah, that's the sound file I'm gonna use for the idle. I still have to make like a couple other custom sounds, and I might basically I'm gonna play around with custom sounds on this one and try and figure out a way to make it unique without chewing up a ton of RAM. Oh, sweet! All right. Y'all ready to hear this idol that's on uh, Diesel's upcoming truck? Let's give it a go. Oh my god. <laughs> oh jeez. That's... What? <laughs> oh, what's up, Keller? Thomas, you look so good. And I'm like, well, I, you know, thanks. I, I appreciate it. <laughs> Bro, how... How big is the cam? Good lord. Uh, yes. <laughs> <laughs> That's like all cam. And it's so loud. I did bass boost it a bit, and I might have to lower the audio volume just a bit. Because I remembered one truck I was using in a hard mode. It's It's got an AP92 Detroit, and it is loud. 
like even in my headphones as I'm recording, it's loud. Well, uh, Thomas said it sounds like it sounds kind of similar to stuff he's heard in ATS. I mean, it may be that I use the same video uh -huh. source as an ATS modder did, but it was just like I was surfing YouTube, checking out different audio for the upcoming truck, and it was like, okay, I'll give this a shot, and it was like, I have found a winner here. Yeah, exactly. Like, I have found the thing, and huh? Oh, right, Puppy Master, and and trucks don't build themselves either, especially ones with tracks. You back to experimenting with tracks? I wish you all the luck in the world. I mean, I will not say anything about what I may or may not have seen. Oh, God. Well, you know what? I, I'm, ju I'm just not going to ask then. Let's see. I cannot find TNB trails on my PS4. Uh, go to your mod browser and type in trails, and it should pop up. Like, if you just type in trails. Yeah, it should show up. I've noticed that if you type in, like, the full name, it tends to have... Oh, what's up? A bit of a hiccup. But if you type in part of the title, it'll just be like... Wait, did, did my audio get up? Oh, uh, it did for a oh. second, yeah. Okay. So we should be back now. But I was going to say, I have noticed that when you go searching for something, and this is universal, whether it's console or PC, if you type in the full name, you're basically not going to find it. Ah... Let's so see. if you type in, like, Trails or Stadium, you'll get the map. But if you type in sta Stadium Super Truck... It won't come up. Then... Exactly. Uh, let's see. Riley Walden, uh, SnowRunner crashes when I uninstall and reinstall a mod. IDK, why it does that? That's weird. Uh, it shouldn't do that. First of all, it shouldn't do that. But... Yeah. Why would it, like... Well, first of all, what system are you on? And two, like... Do you have a bunch of mods installed at the same time? Are you trying to do something weird with your mods? Like, uh, what's kind of the context that it's happening in? Like, what are the other variables that are going into it? Let's see. Lucas, what's good, dude? I'll see you out there in the chat. Thank you for stopping in. Oh, God. I drove off the trail because I was looking at chat. Apparently, uh, Dubs has some advice for you on sounds. Ah, that's... The funny thing is... Stubs, I accidentally made that one about three seconds long, so I'm pretty much in the ballpark. Oh, that's fair. Let's see. Welcome back, Cooper. We're about to get to, uh, we're about to get to, like, a fishing area on Red Lawn, and we took this task where, like, they set us out to, like, explore, and whoa, look at that bridge. I've never seen this before. I'm gonna run the well, radar real quick. Awesome. Dominic, see. I see what you're saying about Punisher, and it's a great truck, but it's not trail tuned. So yeah. I'm not going to bring it out here this time. I may, and this is something I haven't really mentioned yet, but I have been debating making a crawler version of Punisher. Oh, like, God. Like full cage, full crawler axles, everything. I mean, you could just exo the whole thing. Like, just make it frame, cab, and exo cage. Like, essentially... A semi truggy. I mean, exactly. it, it could be done. I've even, I've even been kicking around the idea of stretching it into a crew cab. I'm not oh sure I God. like the idea, but it's it's been floating in the back of my mind. This is nuts. Will you even fit in here? I just banged my snorkel. Oh God. <laughs> this looks so cool. Oh. <laughs> I hope there's not a weight limit here, Dubs. Ow. <laughs> Like, I don't actually know if you're going to be able to... Well, no, you're you're making it. Kind of. Sort of. Wow, that's so cool, though. I'm looking at this in photo purpose. mode right now, and it is insane. Dude. I... Uh-oh. I did not mean to... I did not mean to send my camera underwater. That looks so crazy, though. Wow. That's amazing. Like, dude, I am... Okay. I'm, like, greatly widening the field of view. This is one of the craziest spots I've, like, ever seen on a mod map. Like, I... Obviously, Dubs put a tremendous amount of of effort into this. But if you could turn your lights back on, Diesel, one more time. Okay. There also, we check go. Also, check out Dubs' emissive work with my lights off. 
Okay, give me one second. I want to see. I grab that. Yep. And then now that we've gotten that photo, let's see. It's got to be sick. Right, Thomas? Like, dude, Thomas Gendrick, this area is insane. All right, turn your lights off again. Okay. Uh, they're off now, actually. They, they, they are? Yep. Check out the headlights. Ha Hold on. Yeah, turn off the headlights. Okay. And look at the truck running. Now turn off the truck. Oh, that's what's going on. Oh, okay. Oh, wait. Nothing is... Nothing is on right now. Is it... Is it working or am I missing something? So, hold on a minute. So, I'm turning my truck off. Okay. My truck is completely off and you have no light coming from my rig at all, right? Correct. Just your runners. Okay. How about now? Yeah, I have a bunch of light coming from your truck now. Dubs, we've just discovered something. Dubs, and maybe if Puppy is still out there. Like... Because you shouldn't be able to do that, should you? No, I shouldn't be. Not since the last update, because they made they made lights required to have... The truck needs to be running to have lights on. But right yeah. now, on my screen, my truck is turned off. Yeah, I know. Like, it's turned off on my screen as well, but you can turn your lights on and off. I can't, but that's odd. That's very yeah. odd. Oh, no. there's the dude. There's my. There's the emissives with the lights. That looks incredible. Oh, yeah. that looks insane. Wow. All right, I love that. I love that. You can turn your lights back on now. Okay. Also, one other thing: your lights were turning on on my screen with your truck turned off. See, like, on my you weren't screen, able they... to see them. Um. I uh, just saw the remains of that go flying into the water. Yeah, so did and I. I. I hit an arrow spot. Oh, did you really? Are you stuck? <laughs> yeah, I might be stuck here. Oh, God. Maybe they rolled it back with 16-1. Well, I don't know, because, like, when my truck is off, it won't let me do it, like, on my screen. It's like, it won't show me that I'm doing it. It will only show the other people that I'm doing it. It's It's weird. Yeah, same here. Like, they're turning off on my screen. Yeah. Oh, coming through. Oh, God. Oh, God! Are you I think all I'm right? Just gonna I think I'm just going to recover to the garage. That's probably a good idea. Yeah, I am way too wide for this bridge. And the weird thing is that, like, you, uh... The weird thing is that... You were only, like, too wide for it until, um, until you got, like, what, three quarters of the way across, and then all of a sudden it was like, you hit the limit. Oh, yeah. You hit the limit and you three hit Three quarters were halfway across. Oh, I don't yeah. know what it was. Man, this thing looks so good at night, especially with, like, the running lights where you could really see the shape of everything. Oh, that's so good. All right, let me, let me flip over. And just check the area around where I'm at. Really sick bridge, though. All right, let's do a quick switch. All right, recover real quick. And okay. where should we... I'm wondering, where should we switch to? Because I think we, we need to find, like, a new challenge that we haven't experimented with yet. Yeah, that's going to be... Honestly, that's going to be pretty hard. Like, and I know that that's going to be kind of tricky. But we also... There's also one thing that we need to do. Uh, and that's, oh, I definitely need to look inside of it a little bit later, though, at night. Um, we need to mess with that, uh, with that bus back again on Stadium. We need to mess yes. with that bus on Stadium with it working and after we do the max rank stuff. And Empower's like, you should go to Maine. And I'm like, we went to Maine a long time ago. <laughs> we Mainly. Mainly, yes, exactly. Canadian Shield. Canadian Shield is always a blast, but like on, uh, for example, my Canadian Shield <laughs> save right now is, wait, secret beta. Yeah, I need to do that. Hold on. I'm going to have to go back to the main menu anyway, so let me check and see if it's downloaded. Um, But I'll probably just like do a quick like cache clear and then load the game back up and then we'll be good to go for that. Yeah, I'm reinstalling. Reinstalling. I'm reloading my stadium save, so I should be good to go whenever you are. Yeah, I'm I'm doing a new stadium save as well. 
Uh, Stadium in particular has taken longer to load ever since the new um, the new update, by the way. Uh, let's see. Audi Zombie says, go to Isle of Slayer. Crazy elevation trails. Have you been to Isle of Slayer? Like, I haven't messed with that at all. Have you? I I know the name, but I can't recall if I've been there. Yeah, not. me neither. And uh, again, uh, Empower oh. also mentioned Canadian Runner, but like, Canadian Runner... That's what I'm using for the playthrough that I'm doing over on my Facebook page, which if you guys want to check that out, that is TC9700 Gaming on Facebook. What's up? So I'm going to screenshot or take a screenshot and send you okay. what Isle of Player looks like. We may want to give that one a shot. Do we? Yeah. Screenshot in your DMs, by the way. Okay. Let's see. Uh, Where it... Oh! Well, that looks sick. We might need to... Oh, yeah. Hang on. Let me grab it real quick, because I, I definitely don't think I have it. Uh, also, um, I've got Puppy's testing pack. Um, that's, uh, that's a thing. And let me see. Where is Isle of Slayer? It's got to be on here in some of the newer ones, right? Yeah. I mean, I would just type in Isle of Slayer. Like, literally, just type in Isle, and it'll show up. Okay. Let's see. Nope. Okay, Isle of Slayer gets me nothing. Well, you oh, must wait. not be subscribed to it. No, hold on. Yep, yep. I forgot that I was on subbed only. Hang on. Isle, Isle of Slayer. There it is. It's only like 80-something megs. That's not bad. That's not bad at all. Oh, yeah. 82. Yeah. Check out Puppy's Beta. Oh, don't worry. We're about to. We are about to. I'm going to do a quick cash clear, and then we're going to load back up, and then we'll check it out uh, on Stadium. I'm going to do a quick uh, cash clear refresh. That's why it's big TC right now. Um, but let's see. I'm only doing this so that we avoid any, like, potential for game crashes or multiplayer synchron like synchronization issues and stuff like that. So that's kind of just one of those things that you have to keep up with if you're going to be playing this game a lot and modding this game a lot. But, um, but yes, big TC time. <laughs> Let's see. Uh, TC doubles will add the GoPro later on the dashboard. Yeah, no, he's, I, I saw him say that, um, earlier on in the, um, in the chat. Let's see. Oh, no. Why, oh, no. Why, oh, no, Empower. I've actually been really enjoying, um, doing a playthrough of Canadian Runner over there. It's been fun. It's been really, Holy really fun. Rud. What? Oh, you just load up Isle of Slayer? Yeah, I did. Wow. Is it nuts? <laughs> It's enormous. Oof. All right. I'm going to have to come and well, check it out. I shouldn't say I shouldn't say enormous, but it's got huge elevation changes. Okay. I mean, if you think it's going to be like a wild map to tr like to check out, I'm definitely down for that after we do a little bit of like maximum sendage at stadium. Oh crap. I clicked load my save instead of load into multiplayer, but it's fine. Let's see. I just don't like the platform. I get that. You know, everybody has their platform of preference. Need to add the East Coast to Canadian Shield. That'd be interesting. Let's see. To the person who stole my place in the queue, I'm after you now. <laughs> God. That hurt. Let's see. I told you. Outside trail, straight road, cut towards center for trails. Huh. Gotcha. There's even like a mine in here. Let's see. You still play Canadian Shield? Well, actually, Canadian Shield has been getting some updates. I mean, it even got a snow update. It looks really, really, really good. I mean, it's not a... It is not in any way, shape, or form, like, a bad map. It doesn't get outdated. It really doesn't. Oh, yeah. This could be a great place to test out things like Thor and Doomsday. Sweet. I'm down. If you think it's like... uh, Let's see. All right, 2009 Gaming. We will see when you get back, buddy. Thank you for hanging out while you could. Caleb Brown, I see in the chat. Oh, God, my game is freezing up. Please don't do this to me now. Okay, we're good. Yep, we're good. All right, loading okay. into multiplayer, and I'm going to make sure that uh, when I load into multiplayer, I'm going to make sure that I have... Yes, all right, I have the bus on. I have Puppy Master's um, testing package on. All sorts of weird stuff. Let's see, do you have any coffee for me? I haven't had any yet today. Uh, I do not. Herbie, unfortunately, I do not have any coffee for you, buddy. Nope. <laughs> I I only got coffee for uh, myself today. Although... So, I... Huh? Yeah, all right. 
I was just going to answer somebody's question in the chat. Uh, Thor, I don't know when it'll be on consoles after I release it. Like, right now, I was hoping to have a lot more done to it, but last week, when I was going to do a lot of the work to it, let's just say a lot of things came up that took precedence, so I haven't been able to touch it again until really today. So yeah. I, have to, I have to fix some test texture issues with it. I have to add some more custom add-ons to it, and really just fine-tune the suspensions. <laughs> Crazy chaos. You were supposed to bring it up for everybody. I know. I, yeah, I should have. <laughs> Let's see. Just watch the max height glitch in MP. Definitely need to remember to do that. I completely forgot about that, too, because we haven't uh, run into that glitch in so long. All right. You ready to jump in? I've got my bus. What the heck is that horn? What the heck is that horn? Um, I have no idea what that horn is supposed to be. Debris is everywhere. Right, puppy mask. God, that's, that's brilliant. All right, he should be making his way in here pretty soon. I don't know what that horn was. That was strange. Let's see, uh... Nizzo Jr., you can uh, find out any information you might need about that in Frog's Discord, all right? It's also PC only, okay? Y'all are about to blow through that 200 likes mark on the stream. Thank you all so much. Okay, now we should be back. Oh, you were gone? Yeah, I, like, for whatever reason, my PC disconnected from the internet again. Jeez. That's just kind of like a, uh... Is the horn Nyan Cat? I don't know. I'm going to have Diesel hit the horn because, like, I hit it while I was talking and I didn't really hear it. But if it's, like, something that I don't... I don't know if it's something that I don't want to actually go out on the stream or not. So I'm going to have him hit it um, when yep. he's, like, in here. But let me actually grab one more rig and get it built. And then we'll kind of put together our little, uh, our little fleet for Stadium. Let's see, Diesel's classic potato <laughs> interwebs. Yeah? Pretty much, puppy. It's kind of always the thing. Oh, yep, here we go. This will yeah, be this my... Was, this was a good one. I think I actually have to force close Epic. Oh, God. Like a good one as in, like, it really, like, oofed your PC? Well, it oofed the internet or it oofed Epic. I'm not sure which. Uh, it's not too, uh... It's not surprising. And I, I mean... It's one of those things that seems to, like, happen. But while you're handling that... Yes. Yes. All right. Okay, there we go. Mega Miata's ready. So, Mega Miata versus Thor. Got it. I mean, I think I'll win, but, you know. Yeah. Also, uh, let me see if I can find that question again. It was... Uh, Angry Dude 17 was asking Ooh. about Thor and when it would be public. Mm-hmm. Oh so, my god. To finish off what I was saying before the internet just gave up. Yeah. Um like a bunch of things came up last week that took up a lot of my time. So I was hoping to have a lot more done to it by this Monday. But like I said, time got taken up with other things last week, so it's not even close to where I wanted it to be today. Yeah. I'm hopeful that, Which I'm happens, hopeful you sometime. know? Yeah. And it was it was like, okay, this is Thor's got to get take a back seat while I take care of the rest of this. Yeah. So I'm hoping somewhere in the next seven to ten days, since the base tuning is pretty much done and ready, and now it's just me throwing a bunch of custom add-ons onto it, as well as fixing some broken textures, which shouldn't be broken, but that's another story. I was gonna say they're just so, like there's no real reason for them to be broken. They're just broken. <laughs> like. Yeah. Yeah. So that's been another problem trying to figure out. That's um, weird, other... Six Evo. I would probably say restart your internet browser and try again. Yeah. So, anyway, now that the game has restarted itself... You're almost there! You're almost yeah. there! You've got this! Barrel roll, exactly! Uh, you know, honestly, Charles King, I wouldn't put it past him. I certainly wouldn't put it past him. I'm just getting, oh, like, yeah. prepped and ready, uh... I'm just getting prepped and ready for when I inevitably end up racing Diesel because Diesel always brings something that really, like, hits hard whenever we race, and so I need to make sure I'm actually ready. 
Yeah, Thor, Thor hits pretty hard, I'll say that. It mm -hmm. doesn't turn very well, but that comes back to what I was saying earlier, like comparing Thor's handling and driving to Dub's handling and driving. It's like, a C70. It's not, it's not a sports car. No, but over a thousand horsepower tends to solve a few things. Oh, well it does. A few more. <laughs> oh, God. Don't hit the wall, please. Don't hit the wall, please. Don't hit the wall, please. I'm good. Uh, I scraped the tire wall, but it's fine. Let me see. Also, if, crazy. Oh, there he is. That, that purple that bugs me, it's pink, but that's another story. Also, Audi Zombie 586. Yes, I, I see what you're saying about the, uh, the horn for Thor, but at the same time, too, it's like I'm trying to mix and match custom sounds and default sounds to make sure I don't take up too much RAM. Yeah. So, Is it bad that, like, this... I feel like the tuning on this Miata is so good that you could copy-paste it onto any trophy truck and it would be nearly believable as a trophy truck. Like, that it, that suspension tuning is that good. Oh, yeah. Come on! It's literally, like, an exercise in how to make a race suspension. Like, they are just... Oh my god, Lime's knocked it out of the park with the setup on this thing. Yes. Also, I see what you're saying, Empower, but Ooh. again, I, I do try to change up the horns per vehicle and give them, like, a sort of... a horn that fits the attitude of the truck. Which, yeah. Which the P16 horn definitely does fit the attitude of Thor, but at the same time, I used it on Doomsday, so I don't really want to use that one again so close to a previous truck. Well, and I feel like you probably don't want to start overusing horns. Oh, yeah. God, it even turns well on pavement. What is this? I forgot how good this car was. This thing will be on console, by the way, when it gets... Oh, wait. It might... Is it already on console, Diesel? I don't remember. Um, not to my knowledge, actually. Okay, so it hasn't dropped yet, then. Yeah, I feel like, because it was gonna drop, and then I think it got held up in testing, but, like, it's supposed to end up dropping on console at some point. I mean, this thing is a monster. Although the trunk is, well, there's a lot more than the trunk that's oofed on it right now, but it's fine. Yeah. What's the next RP video? Very, very soon. Bad idea. Thor, trophy truck edition. I mean, might not you're be not as wrong. It might not be as bad of a bad idea as you could think, or as you might think. And you could literally tune it around getting the best possible lap time at the Desert Proving Grounds racetrack. The big, wide racetrack. Uh, are you yes. in the Miata right now? Yes. So it's going squat truck mode, and it's partially underground. Huh? On my screen. Hold on. Okay, now it's, now it's upside down. Now it's on its nose. I desync. Yeah. The, why? Why does the Miata disturb you, Grievance Sage? It shouldn't. It's just a happy little Miata with like a zillion horsepower. Oh well, yeah. All right. Now that also you're for, here. For everybody who was wondering, you see the neon white bed of the truck. That's, yes. That's the texture issue I was talking about. That. Oh, okay. It should have one. It should be there. For some odd reason, it's not. So I don't know why it's, I don't know why it's doing that. But that's another thing that's been slowing down the development of Thor is trying to chase down that bug. It happens. All right, you hit, you hit in the mud pit. Oh yeah. I feel like you just can't help yourself. Every yeah, time we come here, Blanco, what's good out there, dude? Oh my. Okay, well. Apparently, he just, like, yeeted himself over to where the hummers are lined up. I'm going to max out our rank real quick. Okay. Also, and... Angry Dude 17, the only other trucks I have currently public are Punisher and Doomsday, both currently on consoles. And Doomsday is more RAM-intensive than Punisher is, but it's a fun truck. Oh, absolutely. All right, let me see. I'm going to say chain doubles why are these red there's a texture issue on those yeah all right let's that would be see. about the only reason i can think of yeah as to why they might be red that like doesn't make any sense at all all right yeah, i exactly. am grabbing a quick paint job coach service and let me leave the garage and let me see if with the max engine if this is like 
Uh, oh, definitely soon, Gaming with Jaden. Definitely soon. Um, let me see if this will make the big jump with the most powerful engine set up. It still might not, but even if it doesn't, I think it is time we did a... Oh, what? Again? So here's... I guess we can... It's like we can play on Red Lawn for as long as we want, but Stadium is like, no, you're not allowed. No, it's just... It's just having some really weird, annoying issues. So it's like... Ugh. It makes it! I rolled it, but it makes it. <laughs> so at least... So now that we know that... Now that we know that the that the bus can make it over the the main jump, now as long as we can get it to land properly, we'll be fine. All right, Cooper, we'll see when we get back. Thank you for hanging out while you could. We genuinely appreciate it, dude. Mason, you have Doomsday. Oh, that's awesome. Uh, see if you can rejoin Diesel. See if it'll let you. Yeah, I had to restart the game because it was like trying to do something weird. I don't know what is going on today since everything is normally normal and stable, but I'm going to put it down to Monday. How about that? <laughs> yeah, that sounds accurate. I made it. I broke a few things, but well, my, okay, my suspension is half damaged, but we're, we're getting there. Come on. Oh, it's right hand drive. It's a little bit odd positioning it. Also angry dude 17. Uh, oh, no. Same name is here for my YouTube channel. Which went well. Oh. <laughs> Which went well. Flying freedom. Yeah, it's uh it's it's definitely a uh it's definitely a beast when it comes to that. Eba 8 says my doomsday won't download, and that's probably your mod browser. Um log out of it and log back in, and then it should fix that. Yeah. I was <laughs> just about to say the same thing. Yeah, pretty much, Jaden. Imagine that though. Like, it's it's pretty gnarly. All right, let me ease this guy around. And... All right, let's go. Fifth, sixth, seventh. Okay, so try again. Uh, what? Oh, dude, we landed perfectly. We landed absolutely perfectly. What's going on, Charlie Leach? You see out there in the chat. Thank you for stopping in. Man, y'all are about to obliterate that 200 likes mark on the stream. Thank you all so much once again. See if I can make it past like the third corner. Third, fourth, something like that. Oh, let's go. So high is like the equivalent of what? Fifth out of eight gears? I kind of wish it was faster than that. Oh no. Oh no. I'm not going to make that. I don't have the speed. Yep. Nope. Nope. Dude, you have to have like perfect speed. Perfect speed to make your way around that. That is just like, it is difficult. It is absolutely freaking difficult though. Let me actually see though. Made it back in. I saw that just now. I'm really hoping that you can like stay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Uh, Dubs, I'll look into it, but I'm not sure. I'm pretty sure there is some weird material issue going on. Like I have too many assigned to the mesh at the same time or something like that. Mm. But, um, but yeah, I'm going to see if I can just remove all the excess stuff and make sure that exactly that material is assigned to it. If not, I'll just have to make a new material and maybe even retexture, say, for example, the bed of the truck. Because I was trying to get like uh, I was trying to get like a bed liner look for inside the bed of the truck. That didn't go as well as I thought it was going to go. I thought it was going to obliterate this line of TUZ uh, Warthogs. Yo, y'all did obliterate that 200 likes mark on the stream. Thank y'all so much. But yeah, no, like, uh, I thought I was going to smash through, like, this entire line of TUZ Warthogs. It didn't happen. Not even, yeah, like, ouch. remotely close to happening. Uh, but at, at the very least, it is maxed out. So that counts for something, right? TC, I just want to be yeah. sure about this. Did you say there are going to be mods on Switch? Yes, William. Yeah, they are in the process of, of um, developing the update right now. And when Season 7 drops, Switch mods will drop with it. At least that's what the developers have said. Mm -hmm. Yeeted indeed. Okay, so take... Oh, it's take lagging yeet. a bit. Uh-oh. I mean, it does that normally, like you said, on Stadium. It, I don't know why on Stadium, though. I do think we should, uh, like, now that we've got this bus working, I feel like the bus 
and Thor would be delightful for a bit of a... Because I know we always do hide and seek on this map, but we never do, like, large size vehicle restricted hide and seek. And I think the bus would be a challenge. So I'm going to yes. see if I can hide the bus if you're down for that. You have the ultimate seeking rig, so... Yeah, I'm going to put... I really like that flatbed I gave it, so I'm going to put that back on. The flatbed looks perfect on it. Like, the proportions are... The proportions are, are like, amazing. Now, somebody was like, why is there a weird, like, gray fade? I think it's like a shadows glitch. It's a weird thing with shadows. I don't know why it does it. I'm... I'm sure that it's something that could hopefully be fixed later on down the road. Yeah, actually, there is one thing if you go into settings. Yeah. Um, let me see. If you go to settings and turn shadows down from ultra to high, at least on PC you can do this. I don't think it's available on console to do this. Then it'll make the shadow issues that are happening go away. I don't know if I... Hold on. Shadow quality... A minor on medium because it makes the game run a ton better. Oh, God, I don't... It's doing the weird horn thing again. Oh, that's right. Tell you what, let me jump into that bus real quick. I legitimately, like, accidentally bumped the stick. Hold on. I want to see this meme. Oh, the bread loaf. I need to find a place to hide my bus. So... so I tell you what, jump back into the garage real quick so I can just hit the horn on this. Yeah, I'm in. I just don't know what it's supposed to be. You know what I mean? I have no idea either. Like, it... If that makes any, if this makes any sense at all, it is a stream-friendly sound, but I don't know if it's copyright or not. That's what I'm saying. Like, that's why I keep, like, whenever I hear it, I'm like, oh my god, oh my god, oh my god. Like, alright, let me find an actual hiding spot that's big enough to suit this monster of a thing. When you're hiding a bus, all of a sudden your hiding places become way more limited than they once were. Like, as in what, Empower? Like, the theme of the country, or, or, or what? Because I think, hmm... I think this is gonna be too obvious. I really think this is gonna be too obvious. I... As a matter of fact, I don't even know if it'll fit. Like, I... <laughs> I don't even know if this'll fit. I really don't. I... Oh, God. I mean, it'll do it once. It'll, well... Yeah, but it's not... Mm, it's not, like... It's not a challenge, you know? Like, it's not a challenge. I need to find one that's, like, a proper challenge. Let's see. Happening Gaming, what's going on, dude? Is that Bronco console-friendly? Uh, yes, it is, and it will be uh, fully console-friendly when it gets released, uh, which is about 75% done with it right now. I didn't realize how difficult it would be to hide a gigantic rectangle. I mean, is now when I mentioned that I hid monstrosity successfully? That's different. That's got <laughs> like that's got like a million different uh, options because it's got so much more off-road like ability than this. Okay, fair. I mean, I keep forgetting ground clearance or lack thereof in the bus's case. Uh, the bus, like, I mean, I've got the lifted suspension on it, but it doesn't do much. Yeah. Like, I've got a 40-some-odd-inch tire on it, but it really doesn't, I don't know. Like, it, it really doesn't, again, do a ton for it. Oh, my God. I... Is that an option over there? No... All right, I tell you what. Yeah. This might be my only, uh, this might be my only way. This might be my only way. Hold on. Well, I can't. I don't know if I can move. Yeah, I don't know if I can move. Uh, I really, truly, genuinely don't know if I'm going to be able to. Okay, hold on. Thank you. All right. Um. I don't know. I mean, I guess I... It's kind of in the... Is there not a green paint option? There might be, but, like, I'm already hidden, so... 
I don't, I mean, he might be able to find me quick. I don't know. If you find me, like, instantly, I'll hide again. But if it takes you, like, you know, a normal amount of time to find me, then we'll go from there. Okay. I mean, I feel like this hmm. is going to be a relatively short trip, all things considered, because bus. I mean, you never know. You you never know. It, I don't think it's too obvious. Okay, Red, you're not here. I got you. Pretty much, Grievous Sage. Like, our hide-and-seek games can get intense in SnowRunner. It is not a... It is not, like, a chill thing. I love how you decided to just take the opportunity to go mudding anyway. There was a green yeah. paint option. Yeah. Yeah. No, the trees are bad. Be an RV. But, like... Oh, you shouldn't have said that. Oh, God, why did I say that? Why did I... I'm so used to reading <laughs> chat. I'm so used to reading chat. I can't believe I said that. Oh, no trees, God. huh? I can't believe I said that. I'm not in the trees. I'm just near them. <laughs> I'm just near them. Not in them. Mm. I'm just near them. Let's see. You oof. Yeah, TC messed up. Yeah, thanks. Thanks, Charles. Thanks. <laughs> uh, I can't blame you. I have no one to blame but myself. <laughs> oh, my God. Interesting decision of route there with going over the big jump. Yep. Well, it got me some altitude so I could see. Granted, it was quick, but still. Eh, it's fine. Let's see. TC, what have you done? Let's see. Charles King's like, I'm sorry. And I'm like, ah, it's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> Diesel's going the wrong way anyway, so it's fine. <laughs> well, technically, I might be going the wrong way, but the idea is to stick to the roads because here, here's my thought process. Is it's a bus. It's lifted. Despite being lifted, it doesn't have the same like powerhouse level of grip yeah. that Thor here does. So mm -hmm. you can't really force it through too many places. Oh, you can't force this thing through like anything. It's it's not TC talking too much. Yeah, pretty much. Pretty Ow. much. Did you why did you just like flop off of that ramp? Because I took a shortcut. It's fine, don't worry about it. <laughs> yeah, hmm. exactly, Charles. Oh, my God. But even then, I feel like if I had hid with, like, the RV trailers, like, it would have been too obvious. It would have been way too obvious. Because, like, this bus looks different than, like, the normal RVs. So, I, oh, yeah. I, I really don't think it would be any kind of a hiding in plain sight type idea. Yeah, it could have worked, maybe. But you would have to have something with the same sort of design on it. Yeah, exactly, exactly. TC, who is making the Bronco? Um, the Bronco is being made by Dubs, and he's doing a absolutely incredible job with it, by the way. I love how you're just hanging out up there. Oh, I see where you're trying I'm to. I'm drone moding. Oh, interesting. I still don't think you're going to find anything, oh, but nice right. strategy. Yeah, nice strategy. I still don't think you're going to find anything, but nice strategy. Hmm. Yeah. Who knows? You might have already passed me. Oh, that me. hurt. You might have already passed me, but you might have also not. So... Yeah, I flopped. I need to go back to the start. <laughs> we need to go back. <laughs> Marty, yes. we need to go <laughs> back. <laughs> it has been way too long since I saw that movie. Dude, it's like... The, the biggest memory I have of that meme is like... Like, XJ Cherokee owners looking at the new Cherokee and just looking around and going, Marty, we need to go back. <laughs> oh, my God. Interesting that you didn't head back to, like, the, the racetrack route because you hadn't finished looking on it yet. <laughs> well, I could see most of the area there. Oh, that's fair. So, at the moment, it's like, okay, trees. I thought those rocks over there were you for a minute. I mean, see, I'm looking for a great box. Yeah, exactly. Let's see if, if there's a console friendly Toyota Tacoma. I believe there is one. I mean, I think there's one console friendly Tacoma, but that's like. No, there's the Lexington by Dubs. Yes, yes, yes. Now, beyond that one, I'm not aware of any off the top of my head. Yeah. There's no newer models that I'm right. aware of. And let's see. So I'm greeting Amber 400. I see out there in the chat. What is the Bronco called? Um, well, it's not released yet, but when it comes out, it's going to be called the Stampede. 
I love how you believed in the bus's ability enough to go through the rock obstacle. Like, bold of you to assume that it would even be able to do that. <laughs> I mean, again, this, the thought process here is stick to the road and just look off left or right. I mean, there is that as a process. But, like, I mean, I don't think you're, I don't think you're very close to me, so. <laughs> hmm. Hmm, he says. Hmm, he says. Nice uh, choice of route there. You want some advice with it? Yeah. Too bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's great. Uh, Chen, what's going on out there? Thank you so much. Can you show us the Bronco after this? Uh, definitely soon. We've been using the Bronco a lot on this stream, but I'll definitely be bringing it out. Uh, maybe even for like a hide and seek route in a little while. I, mean, All right. I think for a hide-and-seek round with the Bronco, we should go back to Michigan. I'd be down for that. Yeah, that'd be a blast. That would be a freaking blast. Actually, that would blast. be really fitting, too. It would be. It definitely would be. Um, So, when should I tell you that you've driven past me? I mean, that'll work for right now. <laughs> you have indeed driven past me. Quite How many times so far? Uh, directly only once. Nice okay. rollover. Oh my god, that was like a double, like, side flip. Okay. Yeah, I flung it in high to try and get some altitude and see where you were. Oof. Yeah, I would say directly past me has been one time so far. Uh, direct- well, maybe not even directly. Indirectly. Tamir would be hard mm. to seek in for real. Uh, Tamir would be a, a gnarly hide and seek map. Hmm. I'm trying to think what else. I mean, Amandra would be wild. So would Tamir. But, like, it's definitely one of those, like, toss ups, I guess. Oh, no. Ow! <laughs> he found me. <laughs> Oof. Just happened to look over and saw you there, and it was like, ha, perfect. Body slam. Yeah, the, the white paint with the red and blue lines doesn't really help my case here. Um, yeah, the white paint is what gave it away more than the red and blue. Right. Huh? Jaden says this is the longest round of hide-and-seek I've seen, and I'm like, you must not have seen some of our previous rounds, because they got wild. Now, yeah, there was a long one there a while ago. Do you want to hide I... here, or do you want to immediately make the switch to Michigan? I mean... One thing I do want to try is pull that bus out and see how many times it flips when I hit it with this thing. Uh, with me in it or out of it? Uh, actually, to keep physics working, you would have to be in it. Okay. I'm down for that. Let me just line up right here so you can hit it, like, you know, essentially... It, essentially, so it's, like, the length of, like, the broad side of a barn. Yep. All right, now, let's just see off. if I can keep this thing straight. Because that's the problem with this thing, when I toss the power to it. Yeah, it just kind of likes to go all the way. Yeah, nope. <laughs> Save me. <laughs> Thank you. I'm trying to keep myself on my, like, on my wheels. Wait a minute. Is it really what? that heavy? <laughs> oh my god. This thing should not be that heavy. I mean, I will say Dreadnought is probably going to be something that can crush pretty much any truck. I mean, and I... Ow. I mean, and I get that, but... Did you mean to just drive up on top of... Um... <laughs> I probably could have packed your truck right there for a moment. Now I'm curious if we can. Like, can you drive up on top of the bus again? Let's see, actually. I mean, if you've done it once, you should, in theory, be able to do it again, right? I mean, in theory, yeah. Wait, did the doors open on that thing? Or did no. I just hit it so hard? There's a door open on it's the left side. It's open by default. Yeah, oh, it okay. just it stays open. Yeah, I need to take the bumper off so I can get a little more approach angle. Yeah, I mean, I'm just sitting here, like, with the handbrake on, spooling it in low so that I've got, like, a lot of force facing, uh, like, facing you so you can just power up on top of it. Yeah, we'll see. Also, I have to buy another one because it's telling it's telling me, no, you can't take the bumper off, and I don't know why. That's weird. Yeah, if you... That's... Well, no, that was what I, like, I told you that I noticed as well when I was messing oh. around with mine. 
I think I know what happened with it. Yeah. There it is. All right. You should be able to climb up on top of it now. Let's see. FNAF Gamer, yeah, we'll what's see. going on, dude? Let's see you out there in the chat. All right, let's see if it'll drive. Um, maybe? Yep, there it is. Okay, hold on just a second here. Okay. There it is. Okay, and let me jump back to... I'll just jump to one of those. Okay. okay. Let's see if I can pack it. No, it will not let me pack it. Although it will let me just drive around with it up there. <laughs> like, it's technically haulable. It's not packable, but it's haulable. Yeah, it still doesn't let me pack it. So it's not a packable surface. But it does actually kind of work. Surprisingly enough, it does work. I'm... Oh. Do you mind if I take a photo of this real quick? <laughs> I mean, I, I wish I'd I made it that. look better before you did, but yeah, go it's, ahead. It's fine. I'm not too worried about it. All right, photo taken. Oh. That needed to be a thing. Let's see, so be let very evil. This. How could I be evil with this? I mean, I'm sure there are plenty of ways, but... <laughs> now, where did it go? I just saw it when I zooked through here. I wonder how much it'll take to get it to fall off. Probably not much. Not much at all. Let's see. When Lime's R&D site is going to be on console, uh, as soon as it passes testing. We don't really have a date. Um, there's not really any uh, way to confirm a date for when any mod is going to drop on console. But, you know, we can only, like, hope that it'll be here really, really soon, you know? Uh, yep, that didn't take long. All right. Ready for that, uh, that Michigan round? Before we do, mm -hmm. I think we need to see this. Oh, dear. Because I've come outside oh. in my seeking rig. My seeking rig is is a bit quick. Yeah, just a bit. So, puppy, are you ready for me to show this off? Oh, no. All right. I'm ready. I don't know if puppy's ready, but I'm, I'm ready. And actually, before I do bring it out, just to double check, puppy, this, this is irreversible once I leave the garage. We're safe to show this on stream, right? Uh, yeah, please. He says ready. Okay. Three, two, one. He says, well, ready, I guess. Oh my god. Is that a... Is that, like, supposed to be almost a Ford LTD wagon? I mean, would you care to explain? That's, um... <laughs> no one expected this. <laughs> no one expected this. Oh my god. That is that is tremendous. What are the wheels? Well, that's actually one thing I do need to show or change rather. Uh-huh. So what? Wait while I, while Family I vacation. Right, crazy chaos. Exactly. Exactly. Yeah, let, let me put the proper size wheels and suspension on here the wagon queen truckster oh my god i love it all right hang on one second while i grab a there bronco and fully build it for my uh actual seeking rig hang on we'll get this done straight to the bottom of the tire list uh let's see you yeet with the boggers and snorkel and doors and guards and let's see Front and rear bumpers and sliders, and it's good to go. And now we're a bit more properly sized. I was going to say, that's a bit more, like, realistic looking. But yep. that is absolutely delightful. That is insane. <laughs> that is wild. The IX Griswold. That is absolutely brilliant. Exactly, Charles King. Exactly. The Griswolds have entered the chat. <laughs> Oh, that's that's brilliant. I had to scratch build that because no models existed. Wow. How long have you been working on that? Cause that's there's no way that you just whipped that up. Like that's gotta that's gotta be some sort of super long term work in progress. Super long term. This I has will... been a long time surprise that puppies had in the works, and I'll let him take over the description of it, but I've known about this for a little while. Yeah. So. Couple months? Man, honestly, I'm surprised it didn't take even longer than that. I'm 
actually really surprised. And if you would like to hide it, I will look for you in the Bronco, or you can hide it on Michigan and I'll find you there. Michigan would be perfect to hide this on. I'm down. That and the Bronco on Michigan, I will seek first in the Bronco, and then I'll just stay in it after I find you and then hide it. Okay, sounds good. All right, so let's see. Load game. Currently, my campaign save is Northport in Alaska, so I'll just teleport us to... Um, do you want the first Michigan map? Or, like, because we could technically do any Michigan map, you know? Hmm. You know, that's a good question, actually. Yeah, I mean, once we load in, we, like, because I've never even done, we've we've done some hide-and-seek on Michigan, but, I mean, we've never gone off of, like, that first map. Now, the first map is good, don't get me wrong, but I feel like it's time to expand. Yeah, definitely. Um, you think you hate it now, but wait till you drive it. <laughs> Oh my god, Rickster. Ha! Uh, love it, 1696 was good. I'm guessing you're doing a hide and seek. We're about to be. Oh, crap. I didn't realize we had a, a workhorse uh, 6x6 in here. That's awesome. All right, let me... I don't know. I'll just use the Tatra as my retain truck. And then global map. Michigan. Hmm. Smithville Dam. What do you think? Hide and yes. seek Smithville Dam. I think that'll work for us. Because Smithville Dam, for one, I haven't been on in forever. It has been a very long time. An extremely, in fact, long time since I've been on, um, on Smithville Dam. So finding hiding spots here is going to be next level fun. Powers, oh, yeah. off laptop, uh, <clears throat> powers off laptop. Now I've seen everything. <laughs> <laughs> Let's see. Why is a building called a building if it's already built? I don't know. Why? <laughs> Steve, I'm going to have to ask you to explain that. I want to see a yeah. NASCAR mod in this game. I feel like people have attempted it, and it's it's hard to make it work because of the weird pavement physics. Yeah. I mean, closest you'll get, closest you'll get is, like, sheer speed with something like Thor. Yeah. All right. We are reset to 6 o'clock in the morning. We are returning to the main menu. I've got the little mini Tatra, um, like, retained, and I should be good to go. Starting co-op on Smithville Dam in Michigan now. And I do, in fact, say hi, Dark Horror uh, 969 What's going on, dude? They should make a Tesla truck. Someone actually already made a Tesla semi-truck a while back. And uh, I yeah, believe it's actually... Mike. It was Max Mike. It's on consoles, or at least it should be. I believe it is. Uh, it at should last be. At last check, it was. Yeah, it should be, unless it got stuck in updating, which happens, I don't know, sometimes. Uh, let's see, yeah. what's going on, Big Brick? I see you out there in the chat. Is there free mode in SnowRunner or something? What do you mean free mode? Like, we're using a money mod, which you can find on all platforms. It's called the GGMS uh, Money Trucks. But let's all see. All platforms except for Switch. Well, technically, it's approved for Switch, but it won't be on Switch until the next update comes out. Exactly. But, and mad props to him for getting it approved, like, or pre-approved for Switch, I should say. Now, I feel, though, like, if there was anything that was going to get pre-approved for Switch, it was going to be something like that. <laughs> yeah. Let's see. I... Is camera mode on console? Yes. Yes, photo mode is on console. Mm hmm You bet. I'm also stuck in the, like, perpetual searching for session. So, let me go back. No, just as you did that, I was... Yeah, my game glitched. That's weird. I think we might have hit a like a server hiccup for some reason. Yeah, I'm going to force close Epic again and start again because that worked pretty well the last time. Okay. Yeah, this is weird because normally whenever I was loading any of those mod maps, it was loading like immediately. Like it would immediately find a server. But now it just kind of repeatedly says uh, searching for session, and that's kind of all it says. So I'm not really sure why. At least I don't really understand why. <laughs> uh, server fail? <laughs> I, I mean, I guess, but like we were just playing multiplayer, so I don't really know why it would just be sitting there. 
Um, let's see. You should be able to just hit uh, the start button and then hit X, Crazy Chaos, and that should just get you right into it. Okay, I'm going to do a quick... Um, I'm going to do a quick game restart because yeah. it seems like it's being awkward. Um, I'm going to do a cash clear, a game restart, and then uh, all should be good after that. Cash is cleared. And restarting the game as soon as the... There we go. As soon as Epic loads back up. And we're loading back in. Sorry about big TC for a second, but probably the restart between MP sessions bug is back. Oh, it's ha it, it, it happens. And let's see. Ashton and Colossal. I'll see you guys out there in the chat. When will the next offer Outlaw stream be? Soon. Yeah, it'll be soon. It'll be soon. Douglas White was good. Welcome back, buddy. Also, just to clarify, Puppet Master said he's not going to go super detailed with the Griswold's interior for now, but he does plan to flesh out the luggage rack and the honky lip spray paint as well as a leash on the back bumper. To make it complete. <laughs> to make it complete. <laughs> I love it. It's freaking great. All right. Game is back up. Let me give you guys a switch over to the game view. And it should be good. All right. Now, let me load into Smithville in single player. Verify the time of day. And then start up the multiplayer. Because there have been quite a few times before where I've gone, Oh, yeah, my... You know, my time of day is correct, and then I close the game, load it back up, and I load into multiplayer, and it's like, yeah, we're going to switch it to evening for no reason. I, the amount yeah. of times the game has done that to me, um, I know, at least, I like, I know it's not just something it does to me, you know? Yeah. Like, there, there's been some weird hiccups since they did the server maintenance the other day. Oh, yeah. Well, there's weird hiccups every time they do server maintenance. Um, I will <laughs> gladly sell you my Forerunner in FH5 if you stream FH5 on Friday. Bruh, I mean, I need to get on and, like, mess with the Tundra. I legitimately, like, I'm I'm probably going to mess with that, like, later today. Because I haven't even had the chance to mess with it yet. Because I've been, you know, I've been away on a trip. You know, all this, like, essentially this past, like, half a week and then all weekend, you know? All right, if my truck storage ever loads and doesn't crash the game out. But what's going on, Max Richardson? I see you out there in the chat. All right, leave garage. 6 a.m. No, not refuel. Recover, retain. What's up? I wonder if maybe turning too many maps on was the problem. Could be. Um, I also changed my re uh, retained car just now to a Don 71 because it's a total base. Um, let's see. Okay. Mod browser. And let's see maps only so i can turn them off yeah let's see all right r and site pain, off highway hall in the region off just essentially anything that i don't need on at the present moment in time all right i just turned off a bunch of stuff and that should be i mean if we were gonna have an issue we should have um we should have fixed it by now all right. Yeah. I think we're good. I mean, also I remind don't know. me later. What's up? Remind me later because in, on the subject of the tundra, there were some antics that happened over the weekend with the moderators on Forza. Oh, really? Yes. Like as in <laughs> as in like something that y'all got up to? Yeah, we we all got we got a little bit crazy with some of the vehicles in Forza. Banana How? clipped one. Oh no. <laughs> and I clipped another. Let's just say Ford F450 versus Mini Cooper. Oh! Okay. Does the Tundra at the very least have like a decent amount of power you can build into it? Oh yeah, it has a ton of engine options. Basically everything you can stick into the power stroke F7 F excuse me. F450. <laughs> mm-hmm. And see, Herbie, Herbie is sus. Herbie is, <laughs> Herbie is sus. I am in multiplayer now, by the way. I'm getting my Bronco, and I'm getting ready to hide. Okay, sounds good. Actually, I thought I was hiding first, but anyway. Oh, no, no, sorry. You are hiding first. I'm getting ready to seek. Uh, let's see. I think I would rather seek first anyway, because I was ready to, like... I was actually pumped to seek last time, and so that's what I'm going to be starting off with. I've got my setup ready to go. Got the snorkel ready. Let's do the fender guards. We'll do the rear bumper and the sliders. Leave the doors off. And I will also do a... Hold on. Uh, let's do a bobble dar. Yeah, that'll work just fine. I mean, we've got this map pretty much fully explored. But I'm going to be in my staging area. And... Oh, that's cool, Empower. 
That'd be sick. Also, Lucas Warner, yes, both of my current trucks, current public trucks, are available on PS4. Search for The Punisher Ooh. or Doomsday. You bet. But, uh, yeah, there, there were some... There were some really crazy things we got up to, which, like, I'll, I'll post my view of it, of what we were doing, and okay. Bananas was fun. Bananas was fun. That's yeah, brilliant. Because, yeah, he got to see, like, you know, who who would have guessed a 300 mile an hour Yesco versus, versus a Myers Manx would have gone so spectacularly. That sounds very spectacular. Like, that sounds genuinely very spectacular. Oh, dude. Now, here's the thing. Uh, I don't suppose that your build of the truckster is going to take very long, will it? <laughs> no, it shouldn't take long at all. All right. Walker and Lucas, what's going on out there, dude? I see you in the chat. 662 mud, uh, mud Monkeys with a new console mods. Well, this right here is a fully console-friendly new Bronco that's going to be making its way to consoles very, very soon, um, as soon as Dubs is done with the development of it. So make sure you stay tuned for any and all information on this thing when it drops on consoles. Now, it looks like Diesel just made it into the session, so let's see if... Uh, let's see how this goes. I have 1,500 horsepower on my 4Runner, and it goes burr. Yeah, I'm sure that it does with that much power. Also, check Herbie's comment, too, just now. Oh! Yes, going a beetle, huh? Yep. Oh, stop, 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 stop. Did I hit the wall? No, okay, I'm good. I was like, I was really worried that I hit the, the wall because the brakes grabbed so hard. Oh, yeah, they, the brakes can be weird sometimes. Brakes on this game in particular can be weird. Right, yes, Robert98, all, all my current mods are public on all platforms. Indeed. Oh, dude, that's actually a really good flex shot of this thing. That looks amazing. Holy crap. That I didn't think that one of these little like concrete barricades was going to be such a good like flex object, but man, that wow, that turned out amazing. That turned out to be an incredible flex spot. That looked so good. And it is just stuffed in the back. Like, in the rear fenders, it is freaking stuffed. Wow. That's, like... That's next level. That is properly next level. All right, hang on one second. Let me get one more photo of that thing. God, that looks so good. All right. Well, it seems as though Diesel's ready, which means I need to go into the garage and let Diesel hide. All right, my seeking rig is ready to go. And so now, all we have to do is wait for Diesel to give us the go-ahead that we can go and look for him. Because this is going to be... This is going to be a very, very, very interesting time. <laughs> well, yeah, this is going to get a little bit crazy. Indeed. Let's see. All right, William Walker, thank you so much for hanging out while you could. We'll see you when you get back. I'm a big fan. Thank you, Walker Sneed. We really appreciate you. I wonder how long it's going to take... Uh, Diesel to get to his uh, hiding spot. <laughs> found a I found a curb. I mean, you are like, well, wait a minute. What ride height are you using? I left it at the uh, the default height. Like the higher one. Nope. Oh, you're hiding it low. Dang, yep. you're like, you got a lot of trust in your hiding spot. <laughs> Actually, no, I don't. Oof. But I am noticing I am noticing I'm a little bit too low at the moment, so I'm gonna go up just a bit. Okay. Let's see. For the FE Beetle and put it uh let's see, it's so cool to see the wheelie bars in action. Oh dude, I bet, Charles King, I bet. Lorson was good. Remember the takedown four by four from Burnout Paradise? Imagine that in this game. I actually remember the takedown four by four, and I loved that. Add the doors on the top. Yeah, I totally can. I was um I like the doors. I mean, I was kind of, like, considering running it without the, um, like, without the top. But I'll run it with the top. I like it both ways. I like it open top and closed in top. Hmm. So it's not going to be anywhere that's, like, his hiding spot, anyway, is not going to be anywhere that's, like, a crazy off-road area unless it's some somewhere that he could just throw himself into. But since the map is so big, I think we're going to have to give each other... Um, hot and cold, like, call-outs, you know? Because yeah. if, if we don't, I mean, if we could, 
you if your hiding spot was good enough, you could keep the other guy running in circles for hours, and I don't think I want to do that. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, definitely good. Oh my god. Now, I do think that once he reveals the, um, the like, oh, what are they called? The extra paint colors for this thing, it'll be cool to see them with the, or to see this thing with, like, all of its other, like, OE paint colors. Do you mind if I wait outside the garage by any chance? Oh, that's fine. Okay. Because I'm just, like, sitting in the garage. All right. Just don't look at the map and everything's fine. Oh, yeah. No, we're not looking at the map. Got beans on the dash. Got the, uh air freshener buff. I mean, we are ready, and good lord, the interior looks incredible. Front seats, back seats, got all the roof pieces in, all the, like, actually, the, like, the roof switches as well. That's so freaking good. Let's see. Imagine the maxed out horsepower charger from uh, Need for Speed and SnowRunner. Oh, jeez. You gonna do a customization video about the Bronco? Uh, when it's done, because right now it doesn't have all of its options on it because it's a work in progress, but once it's done, we will definitely, definitely be doing a full in-depth video on it, of course. How many mods are approved for Switch? Right now there are four pre-approved mods, but I expect that list uh, to grow in the near future. Okay, that was a bad idea. Well, I've, I've climbed on top of those pretty dang easily. I think I need to give this thing a little bit more of a challenge if, like, even with just, like, little obstacles around the garage, it's got so much flex and grip that it's just kind of like, yep, I'll just walk right up stuff. I wonder about these, like, coils right here. Uh, uh, oh, God. All right, um, I didn't think it was actually going to climb the coils. Like, the fact that it was willing to just climb the coils is, um... Kind of outside of the scope of what I was expecting it to do, but I think I've run into some physics glitches, so I'm gonna go climb something else. Like, I love how just, like, while you're hiding, I'm climbing things around the garage. Like, that's what I'm- that's what I'm doing while you're just, like, trying to hide somewhere. Yeah, especially since I didn't really have a plan before I left the garage. It was just, like, do a quick build and then go zoom. Quick build and then immediately, like, peace out and hide. Exactly. All right, let me make sure that I have... All right, everything's on, lockers and all. Can the Bronco climb shipping containers? Let's find out, y'all. Jonah says that is not realistic. And I'm like, it's actually a lot more realistic than you might think it is. And also, too, like, Dubs has been actually paying a lot of attention to how to make this thing realistic. So, I mean, obviously, there are going to be things like this, for example, that may, you know, kind of skirt the line of what realistic might be. And I mean, you know, obviously you're not going to do this with one IRL, but it's also like, it's also solid axle swapped. Like, it's not a one-to-one -one recreation of a real-world Bronco. So, let's see. What do you mean? What do you mean, Douglas White? I, like, the fact that Beans is back with us is freaking legit. Big bicycle moment. I wonder if I can just climb the hill behind the garage while you're hiding. <laughs> I mean, you should be able to. And I did manage to figure out a hiding spot, and I'm almost to it. Oh, good. Yes. So, uh, this thing has no problem at all climbing that. Not, not even, there. like, not even the slightest bit of a problem. Remember the old, uh, Bronco Badlands? Yeah, I do. Uh, this one's a little bit better to drive than that one is, but, like, I do remember that one. That was a really, like, a really, really good mod. Oh my, dude. I, I I just drove all the way up above the garage. Like, this thing had no issues at all doing any of that. It was just like, yep, up we go. Not even letting anything stand in the way. We're good. I almost wonder if I'm getting ideas for my future hiding spot out here. I mean, I do have the stream playing. I know you do. So that's why I'm not going to hide here. <laughs> <laughs> Fair enough. Oh, come on. I will tell okay, you something, though. I'm almost there. This is a beast of a vantage point and a beast of a photo spot. Jeez, that's like... That is a gorgeous photo. I need to kind of, like, mess with the, um, the aperture a little bit, but, like, because I want it to be able to see, you know, all the way out. Oh, dude. I love that. Um... 
Dubs, do you want that photo? Because I just took it. I... I'm happy with that. That looks amazing. I am properly happy with that. Did I even have the suspension in high mode? Yes, I did. Okay. I was like, what? Like, why is it not... It, it almost feels like it should be higher. But then again, when I drop it down into low and then raise it back up, then I realize why it's not quite as high as it could be. Okay, wait one. Wait one, he says. Can I use this as like a... Oh, come on. Oh, no. The physics don't like that. Physics are hating me right now. Are they? Oh. Yes. Apparently, this shipping container is not... <laughs> is not like actually... Yes, please send. I will absolutely send it. I mean, I do send every... Like, I send it with everything else. So... All right, easy. Okay, nuts. That plan won't work. Oh, God. So what you're saying is, I will be able to find you even quicker than you can hide yourself. Pretty much, yeah. So I am almost in an impromptu hiding spot. Okay. So let's see. Oh, this is beautiful. Hmm. Beautiful view. That should be a clue. Maybe, uh, maybe I don't know. That, that, maybe that's not a clue. Yeah, that was not a clue at all. Okay, I'm in my spot. All right. It's time. All right, guys, you ready to find him? Let's go. Come on. Oh, my God. Let's see. What's going on, Tracy? I see you out there in the chat. Thank you for stopping by. My favorite thing on Smithville is the shortcut up the mountain. I really like that climb. Dude, right? Those tires are thick. Yep, yeah, properly thick, though. Like, freaking properly thick. All right, let me see. Where? Uh, impromptu hiding spot. Hmm. Let's see. And you're on the low suspension, right? Actually, no. I'm on the lifted suspension. Mm, okay. Well, I guess that opens up, like, a fair amount of, like, hiding options. Hang on. I'm going to check around, like, anything that's near the garage. Because it didn't seem like it took you very long to get to that impromptu hiding spot. Yeah, it did not, really. All things considered. I wish that, like, I wish that you were hiding right in that corner because that would have meant that I would have unplannedly just drove right to you. Easy. Check every little nook in places like this. Ooh, I wonder. I wonder. Could he be back here? Wait, what? Oh, God, that, there's a weird CDT there. Like a weird, uh, object collision. That is, that is super strange. Is he back really? here? What do you mean, really? I'm just looking. They could have done that with a cylinder and left the entire thing open, but they just did a whole cube, basically. Yeah, they were just like, nah, that's blocked. But, but back yeah. here, you could drive. Yeah, that's one of those weird things. It's like, you know... I, like, I can I can pop up a cylinder just like that in Blender and just psh, done. Yeah, like, I don't know what the heck is up with that. That's weird. And see, this is the other thing. I do try to make my CDTs stay relatively close to the bodies of my trucks. Yeah, which makes sense. Yeah, which, I mean, I'm not going to complain too much, but it's like, oh, come on. Uh, come right, on right now. When you, right when you think you have a good hiding spot, nope. Wait, what do you mean right when you think you're up? Oh, did you try to hide back there? Actually, no, but it would have been a good spot to hide something huge, like the 3880. Yeah. Like, if I could have... And don't get me wrong, I probably still could have stuffed it back there somehow. Mm-hmm. Also, that's weird. My controller just decided it didn't want to work. Oh, that's... Mine does that sometimes, though. I wonder, like... what about on the outskirts? Or maybe behind here? Uh... I can't even open my map. Oh, oh, come on. Bruh, it left it. Really? Really. Wow. Really. Really, game. That's. I'm, I'm joining right back, and I'm going to my other alternate original hiding spot. Okay. That is annoying. I can like, imagine. That is, like, that is magnum levels of annoying right there. I, I mean, was I... I mean, be honest, was I even getting close? 
Uh, can you show me on the map where you are? Yeah, uh, I am, like, here. <laughs> yeah, I'm waiting for it to show up on the stream. So I'm, like, essentially behind that other factory area that's right near the garage. You could not have been further if you tried. <laughs> wow, really? Okay, all right, that's... That's kind of wild. All right, so I'm going to actually try to find you then. Yeah. I wish it would put me back where I was, but, I mean, it won't. Yeah, oh, well, it doesn't save stuff like that, so. Yeah. Let's see. Near the church, I think I obliterated my suspension. Dude, I know. Like, there's random empty space sometimes, and you go you're going along, and you're like, oh, there's no obstacles here, it's fine. And then all of a sudden, suspension gone. And that's why yeah. I am all about trucks that have, like, a massive amount of suspension health. Even if they're, like, balanced in every other way, a massive amount of suspension health is almost a must for me now at this point. See, the thing is, and just... Like, to explain it from my perspective, since all my trucks have started to get crazy recently. Yeah. Because th this is the thing. Punisher is a fast, powerful truck. This is where it started with, like, the overpowered suspensions and everything. And. Oh, and? Because. Oh, there you, you can are. Just mind your own business. <laughs> you can just be minding your own business going down the road, down any paved road in SnowRunner. Mm -hmm. And then all of a sudden, you'll hit, you know. You, you could hit anything. You'll just hit a stick or a leaf yeah. or what have you. And you'll be and gone. Then yeah, you're just toast. Mm-hmm. Okay, so you're back in the garage, right? Yep, I am waiting for you. You know exactly where you're going, right? This time I do, yeah. I'm not going to go back to my original hiding spot because it was like, oh, I didn't know I could do that. Wait, what? What did you not use? The, the original hiding spot I used, it was like, okay, and boink. Oh, it put it did put you back. Oh, no, it didn't. oh, never mind. Um, did you have a good trip, DC? I did, I did, dude. Like, it was definitely like quite a time. I haven't taken like, you know, I haven't taken a trip like that in a while. But I can't wait to share with you guys like some of the uh, some of the video that we did. It was really, really fun. It was definitely an experience that um, I had a blast doing. So I can't wait to share any like to share the rest of it with you guys. I just don't want to give like give it away too much, like too early, you know. That's a pole. Have you hit it? <laughs> yes. Oof. Let's see. Ninja Creep 269. What's going on, dude? I'll see you out there in the chat. Thanks for stopping in. Currently waiting for Diesel to be hidden. How uh how close are you to your hiding spot? Like pretty close? Getting there, actually. I just gotta stay off the trees. Yeah. Let's see. Wait. You can turn on and off plant damage on your truck code, FYI. R really? What? What? Dubs, why are we just now hearing about this? <laughs> why is this a... Um, why is that just a, like, a, oh, FYI. Why is that not, like, at the top of every modding guide? Because that's where it should be. <laughs> Unless that's a... Recent on. development. Like, I don't think Dubs is trolling, but, like, if he is... <laughs> I mean, I don't think he's trolling either. Yeah. But at the same, at the same time, that's a rock. That's a rock? <laughs> oh, yeah. I'm, I am almost to my hiding spot. All right. I'm going to leave the garage. I'm currently waiting outside. The second you okay. give me the go-ahead, I am Ow. going to fire up the Bronco and send it. Okay, that's a tree, by the way. That hurt. So you're hitting lots of trees, lots of poles. I feel like... I feel like you're probably down by the dam somewhere, if I had to take a wild guess. I mean, potentially. I I mean, maybe. Potentially. <laughs> yep. Let's see. He goes, no, it's plain as day in the guide to turn off plant damage. I mean, uh, are you talking about, like... No damage suspensions or like literally turning off plant damage. Diesel's gonna be all over that if you're like if that's a, if that's the case. Yeah, I definitely will be. But to actually to clarify the no damage suspensions, the no damage suspensions are actually you just set the damage levels to, to the full. maximum suspension settings. Yeah. Oh, this is an evil spot. You Even ready? More evil than I expected. Yep. Go for it. All right. Here we go. 
Time for send. Time for full sendage. All right. I, and what's in, up? In my defense, in my defense, Dubs, I didn't read the guides when I started because huh? I saw many. Um, how to put this? Uh, colorful comments saying that the guides were not really worth the time. Ah, I see. Okay. So it was like, okay, if if the guides are this bad, then ask somebody who managed to make sense of them. I mean, and that's and that's completely Thank you, fair. Master. <laughs> Thank you, Puppy Master. <laughs> oh, that's great. Yes. All right, so you hit poles, you hit trees, you went down the main road. I mean, you had to have. Maybe. You had to have. Now, granted, I don't see any tire tracks, but... I mean, I'm gonna check... I'm gonna check the farm, and then I'm gonna check the... He says he'll send it to you in a second, by the way. <laughs> Thanks, Dubs. So, let's see. Because I've... I've got to turn that off, because every time I'll be bopping along in any one of my trucks to... Bop, 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 blown and out then, suspension. Yeah, I was gonna say, and then boom. All right, farm check first, and then checking the dam, I think. And you are in the truckster, right? Oh, yeah. All right. Let's see. I love how there's... Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh. Well, that went well. Um, That's kind of painful. It's not that it... It's not that it was painful. It's just, like, don't attempt to drive over, uh, like, a axles and stuff. Not even a barn, just like I tried to drive over an axle that was sitting in the grass, and uh, the game was like, oh yeah, that's gonna be a nope, you're not allowed to drive over that, and it promptly, like, forced me to not be able to drive over it. So, yeah, it's one of those things. Look at it, it rides like a dream. It really does, dude! So, Grieving Sage, to answer that question about trees having hit points... Any solid object in the game does have hit points and does cause damage to your vehicle. It depends on how hard you hit it and how solid it's coated to be. So, for example, the really super thick trees that, like, nothing can knock down, they, they're they immovable, period. At least I haven't made a truck yet that can break them. But They seem immovable. Uh, they seem near, like, a building. Yeah, I, I'm definitely going to try with Dreadnought because that yeah. thing is going to be so heavy. It's, it's, you're going to need like four wreckers to get that thing back up right by the <laughs> time I'm done with this. Right. And let's see. Oh. So, so, TCJD, yeah. what's good, dude? You gave me Jaden. Welcome back. But no, go on. Oh. But yeah, some, some of the smaller trees you can hit, like I, the, the one I famously routinely hit on Lime's R&D, Lime's Playground, excuse me. That, those ones can easily be knocked right over with no issue at all. And those are medium you, trees, I think. Yeah. You will take some damage from doing it, but again, it depends on the size and the weight of the truck hitting the tree. And it's all relative. Yeah. So if the truck has like three or four hundred damage points, and if you're going, say, I don't know, in-game, just like ballpark estimate, like 40 miles an hour, yeah, you're going like to probably 40 take or 50. somewhere like yeah, so it'll probably take about an equivalent number in damage from the impact, but you've got quite you've got quite the reserve capacity, if you will, in a three hundred cap three hundred damage capable truck. Yeah. Um to take the hit. Alright, I'm gonna need a hot and cold here. So, ice cold. No way, really? Directionally as well. Directionally? Uh let me see. Hmm. Yeah, directionally would be bad, too. Jeez, all right. So, like, bad and bad. Like, how... Okay. Yep. How... Where do I sit, like... Hey, what's up, Google Eyes RC? Um, where am... How do I sit, like, nearby the garage? I mean, am I hot, cold, warm? So, if you went right, you would be cold. That means I'm going left. <laughs> and I know that you said it wasn't at that one factory that I went to, so I'm going down this way. Yeah. And I know you also said it was evil. So, like, oh, my God. If you're just near the, like, the tunnel, that's... I mean, I, I was like going to say... Be? I was going to say earlier, it would just be evil of me to go back to the factory now that you had cleared it. 
Bruh. Don't worry, I didn't. <laughs> oh, you didn't do that. Okay. Like, I literally thought about it. I was like, should I or shouldn't I? And then it was like, nah. Okay, well, I'm going to check around the tunnel just to be clear. Yeah, I will say don't jump through the tunnel exit because that's not going to end well for either of us. What do you mean? Oh, like teleport? Yeah, I'm not going to do that. Yeah. Nope. Nope. Not going to do that. All right, let me go check the other side real quick. Doing really well, dude. How about you? Thank you for stopping by, by the way. Oh, back. Just doing a little bit of hide and seek at the moment. Attempting to find Diesel. I don't we'll know where... Luck. Oh, God. <laughs> Man, you really are confident in this spot, aren't you? Yep. Hmm. I don't think you're near the tunnel. I really don't. I'm. I'm kind of kind of deciding that that was a maybe not the best uh well it was a good idea to look there on my part but i don't think it's where you're at yeah definitely not let me ease it back out oh. was this a spot you just stumbled upon or a spot that you like had planned partially a spot i had planned because it was like, oh, I can hide in that spot. And then I happened to get to that spot, and I thought, oh, perfect. Exactly. Uh, very soon, Ben Sullivan, as soon as uh, my next shipment of parts comes in. All right, let me see. Maybe behind the... Well? Maybe behind the, behind the gas station? No. I mean, I did think of it. But there's not really much, like hideable space wait a minute oh i that the light reflected off a rock and i thought it was your car i was like oh that's that's him and then i realized nope not even yeah. remotely close yeah this is another good spot if i say so myself also now would probably be a good time to tell you that i painted it brown to really blend in oh god it's brown <laughs> bruh that's even more evil yes <laughs> excuse me boat it is weird that those boats are active objects. Let me see. I'm assuming I'm still, like, warm on this route. Yeah, this is definitely a better route to go than the other way you were going. I'm also checking behind each house. Each yeah, that house would probably is be getting... a good idea. Yeah, each house is getting checked. Although, I also don't know if I can fully trust that you won't steer me the wrong direction. <laughs> Unless I get, like, you know, a hot and cold or something, because I know that, like, a whoa! Alright, come on. There we go. The thing is, after a certain point, like, once you, ooh, check out the bridge, that might happen later. Um, let's see. Oh, thank you, Travis. I appreciate it. To Diesel, be evil, Aiden says. <laughs> I just, I just realized... Like, I'm in free cam now. Uh-huh. You cannot see it at all. Like, from the road or just at all in general? At all in general. Like, I just panned out. I just panned out as far as I could. I can't see it. Good lord. All right. Let okay, me there it is Ooh. from that angle. A little bit there. But, yeah, you cannot see this at all. Did you follow this road all the way down through the river and to the other side, or are you on this side of the river? I'm on this side of the river. You are? Okay. I mean, I know that that's like a... Uh, that, what's going on, Jason? I see you saying hi out there in the chat. Thank you so much. Glad you're enjoying it, Google Eyes. At the very least, I know you've got to be on this side. I mean, unless you did something really cheeky, like went all the way out to the map perimeter and stuff, but... Yeah, that would be bad. Back here. Hmm. Wait a minute. What? Oh, I thought I heard... I thought I heard your vehicle. Like, I legit thought I heard it for a second. Yeah, I, I cut the motor off, so you won't hear it. Yeah, I think it was probably just, like, my suspension clanking or something. Yeah, possibly. I mean, you painted it brown to blend it. Maybe you're, maybe you're in mud. Like, maybe you're, like, way down in a mud pit somewhere. I wish I'd thought of that. I mean, it would probably have been a good idea. 
But like, if I so if I hit the river, I've gone too far. Have I already like passed you? Because I can yep. see the river now. I have passed you. I figured. <laughs> yep. Like legit, I I figured I had already passed you. Hang on. Oh, easy. Oh my god. I feel like I need to take a secondary approach because you are not on the main on the main road, are you? Unless you're like no. down off the off the edge of the canyon, like down by the river. Yeah, I hadn't thought of that, honestly. Or if you're like well, I was gonna say next, like, or if you're in the river, but well, I had a weird physics glitch right there. Like, my tire was burying into the ground. Uh, Hinson family, this is a work in progress Bronco by Dubs, and it's fully console friendly. It should be available very, very soon. Uh, probably like next week or so ish. So the fun fact is, I'm in third person, and I can barely see it in the dark. That's that's not good for me. <laughs> Like, I thought the chrome would give me away a few different times. Mm-hmm. Like, I'm driving through the woods right now, and I just... I, am I am I wasting my time back here in the woods? Uh, no, I wouldn't say you are, but you might want to look a little more thoroughly. You've passed me again. Again? Wait. Wait, 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 wait. You are near the... <laughs> You are near the map perimeter. Hold on. What's going on, Cooper and Aiden? I see you out there in the chat. Thank you for stopping by. Does it have a horn? Yes. Hit it, please. I hit it. How are you this close to me? <laughs> How are... What? Hold on. Also, I will point out, like, the last time we did hide-and-seek on Wisconsin, you never found Punisher. Like, That's you, you true. You found me hiding in Glitch's truck, but you never found Doomsday, and you never found Punisher after I hit both of them. Yeah. One more time, please. Okay. Gotta get back out of the menu. Dude, I am, like, on top of you, but I, I can't... I don't know where this thing is! <laughs> This is so weird. Because I'm like right at the map limit. <laughs> You're like buried in the trees, I'm sure. Who, me? Yes. No. Oh, I hate this strategy. Especially now that like the night is falling. Oh my God. I'm, oh my God. I'm stalled and I'm in the trees and I'm like... Where, where are you? You're right here. How? <laughs> Did you? Are you in I a glitch? I can hear your winch. I know. Are you in a glitch? No. Like, okay, I don't I know if there are any glitches in the SnowRunner. Certainly in this spot. I haven't checked over here yet. I mean... <laughs> <laughs> I'm, I'm like right next to you, aren't I? Oh. Oh my God. Wait. Where? I. Dude, this is not. This is not <laughs> funny. This is not fun. What? This should not have worked. I have I no idea see. how it did. You're like right there. But wait, huh? Hold on. Oh, there you are. Yeah, it's, dude. <laughs> that's, it's, it's the brown paint and like the fact that you're all the way by the map barrier. That is. And just over. That was a gnarly one. <laughs> Hello? I think your audio went like. Oof. <laughs> Maybe. Oh my god, dude. Alright, chat. I think Diesel actually just completely lagged out. Let me check my Discord. Oh, no, he's still, like, technically in it, 
But I so the game oh, there the game is. is wanting to lag badly, and I have no idea why. Yeah, I I have no idea either. But I will say, since we just rolled over the three hour mark, I definitely think that that is a good stopping point there for the stream today. But if you guys enjoyed this stream or enjoyed any of the new vehicles that we showed today, uh, let me know what you thought of it. Let me know your thoughts and opinions. And also, thank you all so, so, so much for stopping by. Whether you were watching, chatting, super chatting, moderating, or if you were one of the many mod creators we had in the stream today, massive thanks to each and every one of you guys. And we We'll see y'all in the next one. Talk to y'all later, and we hope you guys enjoyed.